You know how, because in some states in America, if yeah. you get caught drink driving, they put a thing on your car, you have to blow into it every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some guy, like, he made a video, it was like, how to avoid doing that by inhaling alcohol instead. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds safe. All the comments were like, I feel like you're missing the point of why this is in your car. <laughs> like, <laughs> but anyway. Do you reckon, do you reckon like, you get, like, in, in Ava, right? Do you reckon they just, they just made, like, an alcoholic version of, like, LCL? So you just, <laughs> you just, like, just get fucked up just on get, LCL. You just get oh fucking God. LCL. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Trash Taste Podcast, where we talk about our trash taste in anime, um, gaming, whatever. I don't, actually, we've never talked we about gaming. gaming. I don't know, whatever. We have our trash taste and everything. I am your host for today, Giguk, and with me is Connor, Sea Dog VA, and Joey, the anime man. Yes, I'm me. Keep, oh, go on, go on. keeping it real today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just want, okay, I cut you off for that. I should cut you off. No, no facetious <laughs> nicknames. What did you want to say, Connor? What did you want to say? I mean, say? if you mention it, should we just talk about games then? Like what games you've been playing? Or what, have you, what have you played recently? Have you been playing anime games? No, I never play anime games. Do you, do you never? I never play anime what, games. I mean, okay, what, what am I, what, <laughs> what constitutes as an anime game though? That's the thing, right? Um, if the characters go, yeah! every 10 seconds. <laughs> that's like every game. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No. You can say Last of Us is an anime game and that's it. Say so they have a cute anime girl going. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like how many games do you guys play? Because I found that I just have zero times to play a lot of games nowadays. I uh, mean, like, now, now that the quarantine is over as, here, right? As yeah, a yeah. gamer. <laughs> as a say, verified as, gamer girl. As a pro gamer. I just wanted to say as a gamer. I, I didn't have a, I'm kidding, no, I mean, I feel like uh, it's probably the thing that got cut the most when I became an adult. Like out of everything that I do, watching yeah. films, doing anything else, like gaming got cut down the most for me. Cause in university- I mean, cause, cause that's all you used to do, right? I yeah. used to do gaming for like 12 hours a day. No problem. Jesus. Yeah, it was easy. I, I, I love that shit. That. I used, nah. to, used to play like League of Legends. Depends on the game actually for me. Like I played when Persona 5 first came out, I definitely I spent like more 5. than 12 hours a day on that. Oh no, like for me, the reason I don't play many games anymore is because when I get into a game, mm. I get into yeah. it. Oh, oh, like, yeah. I'm, I'm like one of those guys who just can't go, like I either have eight hour gaming sessions or I just don't game at all. There's, yeah, there's same, like, there's same, like same. no in between yeah, for me. Yeah. Um, like, especially if it's like an RPG or a story driven game. Yeah. Like I remember when Persona, like, when I last played Persona 5, yeah. it was just like my, my just just block out my week. Nothing is happening this <laughs> week when me playing Persona 5. Yeah. Which is but why it, I haven't played Royal yet. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, just I mean, reason. I played Persona 5, Persona 5 Royal and Persona 5 Scramble. And right. I think in total that took maybe like five, 600 hours out of my life. This man finds time where time shouldn't exist. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. th that's what I like about Animal Crossing, right? Because I'm still playing that to this day. And I've put in maybe like three, 400 hours into that game. But that's yeah. the thing, right? It's like, unlike most gaming sessions where it's like zero hours or eight hours. Yeah. Animal Crossing is just one of those games where you can play for half an hour uh, and then you can just drop. Yeah, that's I guess, fair enough. Yeah, which is what I like, right? It's just like a little thing to just kind of do on the sideline. As someone who plays League of Legends, I feel like even if it is a 40 minute game session- Pro, pro gamer here. That shit yeah. felt like eight hours. <laughs> that, that mental battle that it took to play a game of League of Legends took eight hours. Yeah. But I fucking used to love playing League of Legends, man. I was so addicted. Are there any like actual like games based off anime that you guys like? Oh. What do you mean? Like I, I, what, by anime games, I don't mean like games with anime looking characters. Like I'm not talking about like a Xenoblade or like a Dragon Quest XI kind of thing. Uh, has there right? ever been a good anime spinoff? I'm sure there yeah, has. No, I it's think... just, I can't really think of any right I, now. I, I, well, I mean like, you I know- I bought all, like, the, the Attack on Titan game on Steam. Oh, yeah. And I was like, yo, I'm so hyped. I get 10 <laughs> minutes into the game, I'm like, huh. <laughs> Probably Dragon Ball Fighters. That's-, that's you, you like the fighting games? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really much of a fighter game enthusiast, but I mean, I had fun playing it and I think it was yeah. a pretty good game. I enjoyed, um, what was the, the latest like Naruto fighting game? Like I'm not it's a like, huge fan like of Shippuden Naruto. Shippuden Arena 17. <laughs> something, like, <laughs> something like that, I don't know. Yeah, but like yeah. the, the latest one on that on Steam, like uh, I think someone gifted that to me and mm -hmm. I just gave it a go. But I was like, you know, I'm not that much of an advocate for like fighting games. I'm not that good at fighting games and I'm not, much of a fan of the Naruto franchise, but I gave it a go. That game's genuinely fun. Right. I mean, you have um, what's the what's the Pokemon fighting game? Oh, Pokken. Uh, I like Pokken. Pokken. Yeah, Pokken's Pokken. good. I like. If no you like Pokken, it's it's similar to that, but just with Naruto oh, characters. Yeah. No, no one ever wants to play Pokken. Pokken's I, so fun. It's good though because I, I do. You know, you bring your Switch to a party, right? You're like, I've right. got Mario Party. I've got <laughs> Mario Kart. I've got all these amazing multiplayer yeah. games, right? Yeah. The last thing anyone wants to play is Pokken. But if people give it a chance, it's yeah. actually fun. Yeah. I don't think it's a great game, but it's a really fun it's party fun. game. It's fun. It's really, really yeah. fun, yeah. It's just like a brain dead fighting game. It's really yeah. easy. They yeah. dumbed it down a lot, but I think <laughs> it, it needed to be because I suck at fighting games. Well, here's, here's a question for you guys. And have you ever watched an anime and thought this would be a really cool game? 
Because I, I can think of one off the top of my head. Sword Art Online. Would Sword Art Online be a good game though? I've played the Sword Art Online games. They all suck. <laughs> and I'm no, not no, just, I, I, and I'm not just saying that. Wait, wait there's one well. in the arcade, right? Yeah, like the and one. I'm not just saying that because I don't like Sword Art Online. Like genuinely, they all suck. I, I just had a huge epiphany. Yes. What? The JoJo battle, uh, the JoJo Fortnite the game. JoJo Fortnite oh, the game. the there's JoJo a, Fortnite game. Yeah, there's a, in, in Japan, they have a, <laughs> a, an arcade game and it's a battle royale of JoJo and you go around Morio and, and all you do is like try and fucking punch each other to death. It's so fun. That game's fun. It's kind of bad. It's kind of a bad game. It, it yeah. kind of <laughs> sucks, but it's but fun. But it's good. It's like, fun. It's fucking great um, because like I, I completely forgot about Japanese arcades as well. And oh just, my God, yeah. we, we haven't spoken about that. Yeah, we haven't spoken about that. My second home, baby. I'm, <laughs> I'm at an arcade. So I was at an arcade just yesterday, actually, because mm, I, I wanted to get, uh, what's that piano game that you and I are really into? Uh, it's like NOS. No, nostalgia? nostalgia, I think it's called. I think it's, nostalgia. I, th it's, I think it's something like that. Yeah. Basically in Japanese, Japanese arcades are fucking next level. Oh, yeah. so like, like it's like arcades just didn't die here. And there's so many cool things about Japanese arcades that you just can't get anywhere else in the world. Yeah, if you uh, think American arcades are fun, you will not in a Japanese arcade. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a different experience to an arcade because growing up, my arcade experience is always like kind of like, you know, uh, House of the Dead, those type mm. of yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Like, like party time games crisis. and yeah. stuff like play. That, right? yeah, yeah, time crisis, right? That's like, they, they, and they do have those. I'd mm. say those are the only games that really translated <clears throat> well from like, Western arcades, mm. like maybe yeah. Dance Dance Revolution as well. Mm. I don't know, cause like uh, Japanese arcades have so many rhythm games. And it's, it's, it's like 80% rhythm games. Yeah. But it's, they've got so many unique ideas about yeah, rhythm yeah. games. Cause I remember when I was like, when before I came to a Japanese arcade, I was like, oh yeah, I rhythm games aren't really my thing. You know, I, I didn't really enjoy DDR, all that kind of stuff. And then I went to a Japanese arcade and there, there are just so many different oh, types of rhythm crazy. games. Yeah, and yeah. it's fucking crazy. I mean, I thought, I thought after you know playing Guitar Hero and just pretending to be a band or, or what was it rock band rock band no, just yeah. playing basically every instrument uh, I was DJ like okay Hero? rhythm games aren't going to get better than this because you're pretending to be play the instruments yeah. and then Japanese arcades be like now nah, how about we just invent instruments yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see you see this DJ board right here. Yeah. Six buttons. You're a DJ now, <laughs> and, and it feels amazing when you like turn the knobs and stuff. And yeah. it's like, oh, oh, okay. I'm making some music right now. God damn. <laughs> yeah, but no, I was the exact same. Like, I I've always liked rhythm games, yeah. even way yeah. before you know, like Rhythm Heaven and stuff like that on the DS. Like, I played yeah. the fuck out of those games. Mm. Loved it. Um, but when I moved here, I was the exact same. Right, I was like, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of DDR. Yeah. Never really played a lot of rhythm games like in Western. Arcades, and no. I didn't really even have an arcade in Australia. Yeah, like, we didn't. You didn't? We, we didn't really have an arcade that was nearby enough. Like we had one in the city. Yeah, there's one that was really far away from me. Yeah, but like the city for me where I live is like 45 minute drive away. Oh, so okay, to a 14 yeah. year old, it might as well be in a different yeah. country. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, my only experience with arcades is the Japanese arcades. Yeah. But even when I was little, I would go to a Japanese arcade and I never really touched the rhythm games because yeah. all these like high school kids are around and as a 10 year old, you don't want to oh, go into that crowd, it's right? It's intimidating. Those dudes on the on some of these games are insane. Yeah. You, know, you know, someone is like insane when there's like a 16 year old just rocking up in front of a tune rhythm machine and he just puts his gloves yeah, on. Yeah, the gloves. If, <laughs> if they wear gloves, they're like serious. Yeah. yeah. It's like the anime moment, you know, yeah. when yeah. you put on the glove. It's he like, puts on the gloves. He just does the, the, the shine <laughs> and he just gets ready. Like, they just stretches and yeah, shit. I'm yeah. just like, <laughs> the, 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 is that the game where they go like this? Yeah, this yeah. Like, yeah. They, they, for some reason, I don't know why all the good players do it. There must be a trick that, but they all throw their hands in the yeah. air when yeah. they're playing. I think, this I think I've played like them before. Care. That's an actual movement. What? Sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> what did you say? say? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna see the replay now. Yeah. Motherfuck. No, but like I played Tune them once because yeah. I was also You're interested. Just like, oh, oh. That's an actual movement you need to do. You have to, there's a sensor in the actual board that right. senses your hands moving up. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but a lot of them do it like when they've, you know, in the movies, or they finish their piano solo and they just like raise their hand. Yeah, yeah. They, go, they go high. Yeah, it, yeah. it, it looks around. like, it looks like, you know, a classical pianist just finishing their performance, right? It's like, <sighs> But they're my, doing it like every, I mean, every I mean, two I mean, like they're, they're, they're almost putting in as many inputs as like a Japanese pianist, like, <laughs> like not like a professional pianist yeah, sometimes. Yeah. it's It looks so cool though. When, yeah. when someone's good, you're like, 
man, this this is this is amazing. This yeah. is like a spectator sport right here. Yeah. But yeah. then you think about, man, how many 100 yen coins did they have to go through <laughs> oh, to yeah. get to that level? But to be fair though, you get like three songs most of the time. So about 10 minutes for about 100 yen, which is yeah. less than a dollar. So wait, time, so what so. are the go-to rhythm games for you guys at an arcade? Um, I like the one you showed me. I can't remember what it, it was called, but it's, it's one where it's like a massive circle. Oh, oh like, yeah, a waka, 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 yeah, waka. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and basically it's, it's, it's a really unique input, uh, input where it's like the entire circle and you have to like follow the lines and everything like that. We'll have a video yeah. on screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm it's, sure. it's, it was something that, it's rhythm games like this that you just can't, I, that I've just never seen before. Yeah. That, shit, that shit burned my fingers though. When you're yeah. trying to do oh. the, like, ah! <laughs> like, it, was, it was the first time I considered, <laughs> I was like, should I buy gloves? Yeah. Cause it's like a plastic thing, right? And some yeah. of the inputs are like, do a full 360 with your hands. So you're just sliding your <laughs> sweaty palms all around this thing. And you're like, ah! <laughs> like trying to get your hand around. And I was like, oh, that's where the gloves come in yeah, handy. No, cause, cause the I thing understand. is, they're, they're, they're not buttons as well. They're all just sensors. Mm. Yeah. So, so you're just here like, smashing this, smashing this hard surface like. Dude, you and it just, it hurts it your hurts. fingers. Oh it my really God. It really fucking hurts. <laughs> Shit hurts. I'm, yeah. I love the, like the piano one, but that's cause it's basically, what's the other piano one where the guys do the thing in the air? What's it called? Uh, tune them. That I feel like that's the hard version. And the one that Shoot, I like yeah. is the easy one because <laughs> yeah. it's like a piano thing, but you don't have to actually hit the right, just, just close enough. Just close, just somewhere around so you there. Just, <laughs> so you basically look at the screen, you just do that. It's really like beginner friendly. And I really yeah. like it. Cause a lot of them, like there's, I feel the problem with a, a lot of the, the, the games is, yeah. There's medium and then there's fucking insane. Like there's <laughs> there's no in between. I, and I always had this problem with Guitar Hero yeah. where like I could do medium fine, mm. but when we put the little pinky involved, yeah. that's when it all fell <laughs> apart. Like I couldn't do it. It makes, it makes you feel like a pianist. Oh my yeah. God, shut the fuck up. Or, or the classic, the uh, the taiko drums, right? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's, that. that, that's like whenever you bring someone, you're like, Get on, come on, yeah, get come on. on. You, you'll enjoy this. It's so easy to understand, right? <laughs> it's yeah, like yeah. monkey brain mode activated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hit two places. Okay, I yeah. understand. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I mean, the one I always go to is uh, Groove Coaster. Oh, you always play Groove Coaster. It looks cool though. Groove Coaster is fun. Which, I, one's I got, which one's that one? Groove Coaster is the one with the giant. It's like screen, pure ADHD. And there's oh, two like yeah, knobs yeah, yeah. that you have to like move around and tap. And yeah. I sucked at it at first, but then I went to this con in uh, Washington DC like mm. two years ago, maybe three years ago. Right. And they had a Groove Coaster machine, but no one was in front of it. And at this point I'd never played Groove Coaster before. Yeah. And I just saw this Groove Coaster machine that nobody was lining up in front of. Yeah. And it was free. To play. Yeah. yeah, and the cons. The whole free. con. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So I was like, I got like two hours to kill. Fuck it. And no one's lining up in front of this thing. Let's do it. And I got so good in those two hours where I was just <laughs> like, He's like, I have to go you, to, Joey? I have to where? come back to Japan and like actually get on these machines. And, yeah, and then yeah. ever since then, I've loved it. And no. there's also, uh, what's that? What's the other one? What's the cube one? Keep forgetting. Oh, the one where you can like tap the things. Yeah, yeah. Tap the things in time. Oh, I forgot yeah. what that's called. That that's one's everywhere. really old. That's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's like a classic rhythm <coughs> game in the uh, Japanese arcade. Yeah, because I remember my first experience with like Japanese arcade games. It was uh, there's always At that fear where you're just like, I have no idea what I'm doing. You <laughs> know what I mean? Like, especially at conventions when there's always that guy. Yeah. That guy who just like, and, and he's always before you as well. He comes, yeah. up with the, comes up with the Excel spreadsheet on the best technique. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, all right, I just wanted to play the game, but all yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're just you're just standing there being like, what buttons do I press? Like, I, I don't even know any of like, these bro, songs. It's, it's time crisis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, and, and it's always like, it's always the worst at cons as well, because yeah. you know there's people standing around you. Oh no. Judging you so yeah. hard. It's like, <laughs> look at this fucking Especially noob. when you're like, if you're like a guest there, everyone's yeah. gonna look at you like, wow, Drew's kind of sucks at that. Yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm definitely gonna bring this up at their panel later. <laughs> <laughs> you sucked at DDR. Do you have any comments about that? <laughs> yeah, I suck at DDR. No, but that's, that's what I love about like Japanese arcades is that you can just spend, you can just lose so many hours in there yeah. and it's, it's really easy because it's- Oh, and you get the cards. Yeah, I was gonna talk about the oh, cards sorry, as well. sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, yeah. like basically, actually you, you explain Joey, cause you're the one who did it for me. So you probably know the process better hmm. than me. So different machines are owned by, I guess, different rhythm game companies or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you can, if you get so good at it, you can uh, buy these cards for like 300 yen, which is nothing, it's like $3. Um, and you print them out and you can save your progress on it because it's a, it's a public rhythm game. Mm. So if mm -hmm. you just put the money in, you're treated as a guest. So your yeah. records for 
whatever high stage scores, you do. Yeah, yeah. High stuff. scores, that kind of stuff. Doesn't get saved because you're just a guess. Yeah. So if you get so invested in a particular rhythm game or a number of rhythm games, you can buy these cards um, and to you know save your records and stuff like that. And you can, a lot of Japanese people I know like share it online to yeah. flex on each yeah, other they essentially. Do. And like, I, I recommend getting it anyway because there are some rhythm games like the piano one that if you don't have a card, they're gonna make you sit through the tutorial yeah, oh <laughs> and there's God. no way to skip it. Exactly. Like I remember I, I, I really enjoyed it and I went to, I oh, went yeah. to the arcade on three separate occasions. And for the first like three minutes, I was just sitting there being like- I remember oh. I finished like my first two songs and I'm like, you don't have the tutorial yet? Or like, <laughs> yeah, I was still doing the tutorial every time. So I was like, I gotta get a fucking card. I need a card. Yeah. And the good thing is as well with those cards is that not only are they cheap, but a lot of the cards, the first game that you do mm. with the card is usually free. So you actually make oh, that money really? back. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. So like the, with Groove Coaster at least, when you get a, it's called a Nesca card. Yeah, the, there's Nesca guess, and then there's a few other ones. Yeah, then there's the Bandai one as I think well. That, yeah, I have that. Yeah, so with the Nesca card at least, when you, the first game of Groove Coaster you play is free because you oh. just put that money into the card. Right. Which, which is, I, which I think is a nice compromise because That's it doesn't nice. feel That's like nice. you're just, you know, you're paying extra to yeah. save your progress essentially. And you can, you like, you'll only have a set amount of stages, I guess. Yeah. And if you, you know, level up, you learn more stages. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just, it's just cool to like go yeah. back to an arcade, you know, every so often and just Play be your like- your favorite anime song. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I got to triple S this stage, man. Yeah. I just have to, I have they, to invest They, they have Undertale on uh, Groove Coaster, right? Yeah, they have the entire soundtrack. I'm <laughs> oh, fucking, shit. dude, I can do level 12 Megalovania, <laughs> like triple S. I was pretty proud <laughs> of myself, not gonna so lie. It's so cool. Cause the, uh, on Groove Coaster, they have like special animations just for the Undertale song. So they, oh, like, really? it looks like an Undertale game playing out. On oh the no, thing. that's every song that they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even all the Vocaloid stuff as well, they oh, use really? like oh, the okay. music videos for it. And that's what I love about Groove Coaster because yeah. every stage actually so looks cool. really unique as well because it has to match the song. Right? Have you tried using your card at the ones in America? Have you ever tried that? No. I should try that. That's just- no, that, that, That'd be pretty does cool. It work? If, if, it work, if you're at a convention and yeah. you just- you just Probably wouldn't, right? Cause whip probably, out the card, right? Yeah. Probably need to be connected to the internet. I gotta, I gotta flex on these people that I, <laughs> I, I triple S <laughs> Megalovania on level 12, you know? Oh, you don't have all the stages? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. How, <laughs> how'd you guys feel about like the UFO machines or like what, like the prize machines here in Japan? Aki is fucking amazing at it. And I don't know how she yeah, is. Because what, what, what really surprised me is that most in most in everywhere else is kind of like a luck, kind of like like mm. luck based. But in here, I, I see people who are just really good at these machines, yeah. and they can actually turn it into a profit because they, then they just sell the figures or whatever yeah. you get or buy. Well, that's yeah. a huge industry as well. Yeah, like, yeah, that's exactly. A big deal. Like a lot of the stores in Akihabara are selling crane game stuff. It's like, yeah. how do they get? I, I I just don't understand how people can get good at that because. Aki, every time we go to an arcade, Aki always is just like, fuck the rhythm games. I'm just gonna go to the crane games to just get random shit. But every time I try it and she's standing next to me, she's always like, oh no, you should move that more to the right. I'm like, how do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just fucking going for it. But there's like a whole like secret thing where it's like, yeah, you have to aim it slightly to the left so that it drags the plushie closer to the hole. I'm just like- I don't like, wanna do that. How I do you just, figure that shit out? I just wanna go beep beep and pick up. Right? Like, I, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna think about this. I wanna just play it. Right? I guess you have to, if you wanna like not Weird, spend yeah. as much money yeah. on But if I thing, really, right? really want the thing in the crane, I'll just go to the shop next door that probably is selling it used for like 800 yen, which yeah. is way cheaper yeah. than it would. Yeah, every time you go to an arcade in Akihabara, there's always the store next to it is selling yeah, the yeah, exact yeah. thing you're trying to gamble for. But but in Japan, if you mess up enough and you put enough money in the machine, the staff will come over and be like, uh, "Hey, you, you want to? You, you want help?" We feel, we feel we feel kind of bad. You've, you've spent like how yeah. many thousands of yen on yeah. this? Yeah, which is why like when I have friends who are doing it who are fucking up loads and they put like twenty bucks, I'm like. Do it, put like 10 more bucks in, then I'll call the staff over. Yeah. And if you do that, normally they'll, they'll place it. They'll pick it up, literally put it on the box yeah. and just require you to like tap it. Yeah. Like they'll pretty much set it up for you. And if baby you modes, baby yeah, mode yeah. activate. Lit literally baby mode. Like, <laughs> so that pro tip, if you come to yeah. Japan, just use your, fuck up Use a lot. your Gaijin card and be yeah. like, I yeah. don't know how to do <laughs> this. <laughs> just chuck them a sumimasen and they'll be like, all right, I got you, fam. Man, damn. Uh, did, have you ever seen a crane game at the, the com, com, uh, conventions in America? No, I haven't actually. I have. um, I've seen them, but I've always really? been scared to try them. I guess because you can set the crane game to how difficult you want it. Yeah, on the inside, yeah, yeah. So. And just knowing how like a lot of, uh, at least American crane games that <laughs> I've played, <laughs> I mean, they're, how they're they scams, might as well just be like, they might as well not be a claw. It's, it's basically just a slot machine with a claw attached. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. With less odds of winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah with yeah, less exactly. odds of winning. Yeah, exactly. I'd rather put my money into an actual slot machine than a crane game. Which I would not rather do anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
But no, there's like a lot of different games that you just don't see anywhere else in arcades. Like, yeah. I, d I don't know why there's always, there's always a fake go like section. That's it's, like, it's, it's not just one machine. There's an entire row. <laughs> there's a row of Fago machines in every fucking arcade. I, I swear to God. And those machines, have you played on those machines? I haven't, yeah. They're fucking expensive. What, what, what is it? I've never played the game. So, the cards, right? You yeah, it's, it's so they're expensive because you can print out physical cards of the waifus that you get in Fago. Oh, yo, for real? Yeah. Oh, you don't know that? Oh shit. Oh, shit. oh shit. I'm surprised. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> that very, what, you, oh, no, cause oh. you'll be broke. Don't, don't, uh, no, don't no. be so, broke. So Nabi, one of my best friends here, um, he is like a super heavy, like fake go player. I mean, he used to be. AKA he has no money. Yeah, Bro. AKA he's broke. Bro, I, so, I don't but, need to give fate any more money. You don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell don't, me this, don't, don't tell don't. me this. But, he was, but from what I saw, cause cause I went to an arcade with him and he was like, oh, can I just yeah. go onto the fake go machines? And I'm like, yeah, actually, cause I, I've always wanted to know what they were. I've always yeah, just yeah. walked past them. And yeah, it's like, it's like a double screen. It's like a giant DS essentially, mm, where yeah. the bottom screen is like a touch screen and you have these packet of cards and you can essentially use cards to summon fake, characters. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh my God, you're and showing you, me this and, and I'm just you, like- And if you like win like, and, and if it's like you use the fate characters to like beat like a certain quest. It's kind of like Dragon Quest with mm, fate yeah. characters. And if you beat a certain quest and depending on how you beat it, then you can unlock different waifus and you can actually print out the waifus from the machine. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't tell him. Oh, no. and, and like just to play one game is already expensive uh, enough, but of course they take money to like actually print, print out the cards. cards. Yeah. So oh. it's just like so much money for the Fate franchise right now. And you I just, know this just, after today, you're gonna go to You're one. just gonna see me in a week and just be like, guys, I've sunk way too much money into <laughs> I'm just gonna this. come in with like a deck. <laughs> like why, why, why did I'm you tell me? I'm surprised you never went on it considering you made that whole gacha video. I mean like because it because of quarantine, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. it was quarantine that started my process for the gacha video. So mm. I haven't actually been to an arcade since quarantine started. So I've just been playing Fate Go. And so you I know what I, we're doing after this episode. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to an arcade that has a Fate Go machine. It, it just and sounds like <laughs> Skylanders, but for questionable adults. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it sounds like. You can like summon the cards. Oh, okay. I mean, it, I mean to be fair, I mean, it it's pretty fun. I mean, cool. that's that's basically gacha games in a, okay. in a nutshell. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, you're just you're just collecting PNGs or cards or whatever. <laughs> Literal PNGs printed out this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, uh, wait, so you're telling me that I we're can't. not just collecting PNGs, but they're physical and <laughs> printed out? Bruh. Laminated cards? <laughs> once, once a PNG, always a PNG. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, do you know the coolest game I ever saw on an arcade here was? You know, Typing of the Dead? It's actually an arcade machine. Are you serious? They made, yeah, it's in Akihabara. It's on like the, one of the Sega buildings. They have <laughs> a, like four Sega buildings. Yeah, one of them, one of them. <laughs> there's there's they, the Typing of the Dead mod. They yeah. actually have a Typing of the Dead. So it's House of the right. Dead, but you type all the yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, so what, there's like a keyboard? It's there. a keyboard, two keyboards right next to each other. Oh, that's so you cool. Type up, it's so fucking cool, I need to get a picture of it. Yeah, that's so cool. I remember being next to the game where you tip the table. There's, there's, <laughs> no, there's, not, there's an arcade game in Japan where <laughs> all you do is like, you have to tip this table as hard as possible. You, you, know, you, know, you know, in like American arcades, they have the punching machines. Yeah. It's that, but instead of punching something, you, <laughs> you flip just something. flip the table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> you flip it as hard as you can. On, on screen right now, there'll be a reference, but yeah, yeah. it's really fucking cool. Yeah, it's, it's very fun. It's like, but it's kind of expensive because you get one flip. Yeah. And then you better make that flip count. You better count. make that flip count. <laughs> <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah. It's good. It's Only good in Japan, they'll come Only up in show Japan. Only in Japan, man. Why yeah. else would you want to flip a table? Like, you just, no, I can't no, flip what, a table in what, real life. Where, where else? can you flip a table in real life and just get away with it and yeah. just not have to clean up the True. mess? Not right? only get away with it, but be rewarded for it. <laughs> <laughs> well done, you got yeah. a high score. In your like home countries, did you ever have like these arcades at home where they would they would like have this one Japanese arcade machine and that like everyone would be mm. on it? In, in Wales, they didn't, but in London, they did. Yeah, in London, there's a few. I remember there was one arcade machine called like, I think it was Bishy Bashy. I love that game. Oh, game. they had yeah. that G, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but really like good. in London, it was like a really, really old like it arcade. It was beaten up. It was oh, yeah. beaten up. And in here, like I didn't realize there was like new iterated versions of it. Right, and right. Yeah, Bishy Bashy is a lot of fun. It's just basically like Mario Party on crack. With, yeah, one, with, <laughs> you know I mean? with only one mechanic. It's yeah. like you yeah. have to press your button in certain ways, but it's yeah. one button. I mean, Bishy Bashy means to hit. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why. Because there's some some games where you're just like, yeah, like, fucking spamming it. I love those games. <laughs> it's a fun game. You should, you should uh, play it if you ever come. Yeah, here. it's super fun. Yeah, basically, like I, I feel like one of some of the one of the weeb experiences to go to Akihabara, but I feel like you'd be missing half of that by not going to an arcade as well. Mm. Yeah. 
And that's the good thing about Japanese arcades, right? Is that you don't have to go to Akihabara to experience no, it. No, no, you don't. They're literally like, everywhere. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely like a different gaming experience from normal gaming in a way that like is hard to quantify the value of, I guess, because as a gamer, right? <laughs> as a, I love, I love, I love spending 10 hours a day playing video games, but like, I, I can't spend more than like four hours in an arcade in Japan. Yeah, it's it, hot. It, yeah, it depends on the game for me. Yeah, I mean, I, I think nowadays it's hot as well. Yeah. Oh, it's that's so. Fucking and if you're hot. on the floor where they smoke, like, because there's always one floor where you're allowed to smoke. Mm. And, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that floor reeks. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like nowadays I probably have a little bit of an easier time because yeah. I've kind of diversified my rhythm game portfolio. Bring headphones. Bring headphones. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bring headphones. Bring yeah. your own headphones That's, as well. You need an uh, an aux cord, basically. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't, then you're gonna try and play a rhythm game while you're hearing fifty other rhythms. Yeah. 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 At and the like, same time, it's I, impossible. I think, I think that's why it's so hard for me to sit down most times before for like months. I yeah. didn't use headphones. No. I couldn't get into it. But when I put headphones on, I just do you're my just thing. Just in that yeah. zone yeah. for like maybe like an hour. But yeah, I, I can't sit there for. It too feels long. so good because I remember the first time I tried the piano machine and I didn't have headphones and I'm just like, I can't even hear the music. So I'm just, <clears throat> I'm just playing press the color. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm it's not, a, it's, there's no rhythm to this game. I'm just smashing what I see on screen. Yeah, yeah, but like yeah. with headphones, I'm like, oh, this, this feels good. <laughs> this, yeah, this, exactly. like, I, I feel like a fucking master at playing piano and I'm here and I'm just like, just like smashing. <laughs> smashing Ooh, pretty people. colors. <laughs> so when it comes to like actual anime games, mm. like games that are based off of anime, right. which ones have you done? Cause we briefly mentioned about the, the Dragon Ball fighting games or the Naruto <laughs> fighting games, but have you guys played any recently? I don't think so, because the only games, anime games I can think of that I've played recently are all like mobile games or like gacha games. And, right. You know, that, uh, do they really count as games? I, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, they're kind of in a league of their own. Yeah, right? I, I feel like that's a separate genre, right? I'm, yeah. I'm a pure multiplayer slave. So oh, really? I think yeah. there's like no anime games <laughs> in like the multiplayer. <laughs> because, like, because the recent <laughs> anime game that I played, which apparently no one fucking played yeah. was yeah. the Fist of the North Star game. Oh, cause it was a, it was like a skin on a Yakuza game. Yeah, it was basically, right? it was yeah. done by the people who did the Yakuza yeah. games, but it's oh, just Fist of the North Star. And it, I mean, I fucking love Fist of the North Star. So yeah. when I saw that and I was like, oh, it's basically just a yeah. Yakuza game. I was like, hell yeah, I played it. That game is so fucking fun. I mean, like, if you like no Yakuza, one played it. If you like the Yakuza games, you'll no, like No, but here's it. the thing. I've never played a Yakuza game. Oh, okay. I've only heard about Yakuza games because a lot of my friends yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But I, I was just more drawn to the fact that it was a Fist of the North Star game and it looked <laughs> fucking amazing. Yeah, and I, I saw clips where he's like, ah, da, da, da. yeah. Dude, you can do the Omae yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. in the game. Oh and I was my like, God. yes. <laughs> it's so fun. It's so good. I love it. Yeah. But um, <laughs> did, did that get localized over to the West? Yes. I'm pretty sure yeah, it, it did. did. Oh, okay. I saw a few of my streamer friends playing it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I saw a few reviews when it came out and it was just kind of like, yeah, it's a Yakuza game. Yeah. But do, you, do you guys remember when when Jump Force was announced? Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> remember the shit storm that oh caused? God. That was hilarious. Oh my God. The, uh, it, the, it was the beautiful irony that a, a game about anime characters had some of the worst cutscenes imaginable. I know. It was so I, just, I just remember the scene where I think it was Freezer or something just like floating up. <laughs> <laughs> it was like T posing. It's just like, all right, I have to go, guys. I, I have to go. Dude, that whole game is jank, bro. Oh, dude, that's the problem with anime games recently because I, I don't know if the game will be out by the time this episode is out, but right now I'm doing a video where I collect a bunch of old retro anime games that never made it out of Japan yeah, yeah. to like kind of review anime games because like the, the general consensus I feel with anime based games at least in the West, is that they're very much a modern endeavor. But mm -hmm. yeah. It's like only recently that now anime is becoming a lot more of a mainstream thing in the West that they're finally starting to capitalize on the Western market. And, but you know, in retrospect, anime games have been around since like the NES, yeah, Super yeah. Nintendo yeah, yeah, yeah. period. They just never made it out of Japan. But it's so unfortunate that now all these like people in the West who love anime are finally starting to get kind of a glimpse into like anime based games. Yeah. And yet you get shit like Jump Force and One Piece World Seeker. Dude, that One Piece game, I saw footage of that. Oh my God, it the was frame rate was garbage. Dude, I could, I was I was kind of looking forward to that game too. Cause I'm like, maybe <laughs> finally, fool. finally you we'll fool. get a good I mean, One Piece adventure game. No, we did not. I mean, the problem with anime games, a lot of anime games for me is they just look like a quick cash grab. You know what I mean? They, yeah. they want to make it look AAA, but they're not willing to put the money in. Yeah, to yeah. Make it actually like I remember, 
uh, like last, I think it was last year or the year before, there was like a My Hero Academia game. Oh my and God. that just, they all look the same. They all look janky as fuck. Yeah. And yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like I haven't, like I, you, and then you read some of the reviews and nothing really sells you on this game versus this, hey, this actual AAA game or something that has nothing to do with anime. Yeah. Like I don't have enough time to play games enough as it is, let alone play. I'm not playing a shit game. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, if you're gonna get me off like the games I'm cripplingly addicted to, it better yeah. be fucking good. Yeah. Right, right. It better but, be Arknights. It better be Arknights. <laughs> I, Breath of the Wild was one game that like managed to tear me away. Oh yeah, oh, God. everybody, everybody. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that tears me away from like League of Legends is another multiplayer thing where I could just keep grinding and, and yes. not getting better. I remember when I first played Breath of the Wild because when I first played Breath of the Wild was when I first came to Japan. Mm. Uh, mm. And I remember it was, it was great because I was like, it was my first time experiencing Japan, seeing all the stuff and all I can think of is I just want to go home. So I could I, just, <laughs> just- I had the exact same like, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 need to, I need to go to that temple, man. Like I, I, <laughs> there's this part of the map that is unexplored. I want to hit that up. I like, remember playing in the bathtub. Like yeah. I was so addicted that even my bathing, I had to, <laughs> I had to be playing it. I you was have to utilize it every amount of time. I remember, I remember I was I was in that fucking fire dungeon, the, the wind dungeon thing. With yeah, those yeah. Big, yeah. Oh, dude, it was terrible. I recently during, uh, at the beginning of quarantine, I decided to get back into uh, Breath of the Wild, but this time I played it on pro mode. Wow, you're Rather a real gamer. gamer. You're no, such no. a gamer, Joey. <laughs> I know, epic gamer girl moment. But <laughs> the only difference between pro mode and regular mode is that on the, the main HUD, yeah. mm -hmm. like, you know how when you're playing Breath of the Wild, there's like the mini map in the corner, like the temperature, time of day, yeah, yeah. all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Pro mode basically takes all of that away and just shows you your heart. Right. So you're forced to explore and look around. <laughs> and when I played it, I was like, this is how the game's supposed to be played because I discovered more things in the first so five- an elitist. <laughs> this was the no, correct legit, way. Because I discovered more shit in the first 10 minutes of promo than I did in the first couple of hours of regular game Damn, mode. Because, what the fuck are you doing in the regular game? Because mode? in the regular game mode, you have the mini map, right? So you're yeah. forced to like go to the closest shiny thing that you see yeah. on the mini map. Yeah, yeah. Whereas when pro mode, you have to fucking look around. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't know there was a temple right here, like right under my feet because I'm too yeah, true. fucking true. worried about going to this tower that the, the game is telling Joey's me to go to. Joey's a pro gamer. Dude, <laughs> at that moment I was like, at that moment I was like, this is, this is epic gamer girl moment right here. <laughs> On the topic of anime games though, how do you guys feel about visual novels? And, uh, I fucking love them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have, have you ever played one? No, nah, I've never played a visual novel. I, I was, I had a moment during high school where all I played was visual novels. I, I, I remember I, I've booted them up several times, and yeah. every single time I, I get about five minutes in, I'm like, "Hey, <laughs> this is just a book <laughs> in, in, in disguise. <laughs> they're, this trying, is, they're trying to trick me into this, reading. This is just a book with extra pictures. <laughs> like it's, 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 it's a book it's, with it's extra like steps. A, it's, 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 like a, a, <laughs> it's like a novel, yeah. but there's like visual." to it. Yeah. What just, the fuck? I, I think the I best just, example I ever heard was my friend saying, this is just an audio book with pictures. <laughs> Some of them don't even have voice acting. You yeah, know, so it's, it's an audio yeah. book with pictures, but the main character never has the voice, right? <laughs> yeah. Because they want you to I immerse. Just, I don't know. I just, I, I'm sure there's a lot of people at, at home who are watching this as well, who are also in the same boat as me where I'm like, it's too fucking Oh no, boring. I don't I don't blame so I don't blame yeah, yeah, anybody yeah. who says that they can't get into visual like, novels. No, to no. you, is it in the same category as gaming? Like it can't no. be, right? I was gonna say, because no. like I'm a gamer. I don't know. There's I'm a, there's, <laughs> there's, I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. There's, there's, a gamer. there's, there's like gaming. there's there's like different levels, I feel. Okay. Because like okay. I okay. So like like, when, in a, like in a game. No no <laughs> <laughs> I'm I, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> no, because like it took me like years because as as a kid, I would play on my DS, like I was a Nintendo kid, right? So I have like a DS would would like play play on that a lot, and right. then it took me years to realize. Wait a minute, Phoenix Wright is just a visual novel. <laughs> I never liked Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Did you not? I was trying to trick me into thinking. Uh, oh, I love I, Phoenix Wright. I love Phoenix Wright. How well, dare but... you trick me into thinking? Let me go, let me shoot things. Where is that high octane gameplay that I <laughs> Where signed is up for? The action. I didn't come here to think. If I wanted to think, I'd play. I didn't Professor... come here. To, I didn't come here to read. <laughs> I would play <laughs> Professor Layton if I wanted to think. <laughs> Hey, Professor Lane's also a really good. It's game. actually, actually, yeah, actually, yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. fucking. I look at, I love puzzle games. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I, that's what when I try to play Phoenix Wright, I'm like, this isn't a puzzle game. <laughs> They're trying to trick me into thinking I'm using my brain. I'm just reading the whole time. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I got into visual novels because I really heavily got into error gaze. Oh my god! Yes, yes. I started. Yes. I started with error gaze, and that's, then, that's my brother. That's my brother. I started with error gaze, obviously, because I am a 
13 year old horny boy on me. Hey, what's, what, wait, what's, why what's, didn't you what's, 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 what's the you, first no, no. visual novel that you played? Why didn't you just watch porn if you were horny? What's <laughs> I did. You don't, wait, you're in Google, you have all of Google and you think, I want to read the porn. I no, wanna, because, <laughs> okay, okay. No, be- it's not read. Before, before you get to the porn, you need to, like, it, it doesn't feel as good if you just, if they just hand it to you, I'm right? Just, okay, you, okay. You, you earned, you earned that you shit. You don't read the porn, hold you on, experience the porn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how old are you guys when you got into this first of all? Uh, Arrogance? Yeah. yeah. Like uh, 14, okay. 13, 14. Yeah. When I was 14, right? My mom could have come in the room at any second, right? <laughs> this needed to be like like special ops precision. <laughs> I needed to get in and out and get the get the deed done. Because, you know, I, you know, could you, did you have like two floors through the house? No, yeah. I had one floor. Oh, oh okay. no, no, I had yeah. two floors, but we're all on the same okay, floor. Okay, so I, I, my bedroom's on the second, right? Uh-huh. right? And I had about a five second window where I could hear the stairs <laughs> creaking. And I, I didn't know which room she was going into, but just in case I had to prepare every time. <laughs> During those five seconds, just the Mission Impossible theme was like playing in your head. It's like, then, like, what like, do I do? I had like a whole setup ready just in case my mom was gonna walk in the room, right? And it was playing with, how did you have the time to get into a story, right? And without, without any of your parents finding you watching porn. Basically. Because I was yeah. one of those kids that had a lock on his door. Your parents give you a lock? Yeah. Bro, my Ooh. parents would never give me a lock. Actually, my, like my, my, the only computer we had in my household was like the family computer. Yeah, I used a family laptop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but, no. uh, like, so I was watching porn on the family laptop. Because my dad was has been working in an IT company yeah. for 30 years. So he gave everybody like our own computers. From a he had it on easy mode. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have to like work around schedules or no. anything. But like, but like, I had like I knew because my parents would always, they would always be out in several uh, like specific hours Damn, of the day I didn't have that for work. Mm. So I'd be like, okay, it's 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 Eroge time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would just like. 10 minutes, get the deed done, go back to gaming. I don't yeah. even remember what the first area game was that I played. It was probably I remember some what like it was shitty one. I remember what it was for me. It was, was called it? the Sagara family or something like that. Okay. And how I discovered and fun. how I discovered it, right? This this is this is like going before error gaze, but it was technically error gaze. You, did you guys ever go through that phase where you're just playing shitty like hentai visual novels on new grounds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Frank's Adventure. <laughs> that was the shit. Are you no. kidding me? I like a like- Gunguru girl. Uh, yeah. What was that? <laughs> Hentai oh sex kid or something I, I, like oh that. I feel like this was, this was two hobbies that you should not have combined at a young age. Right? That I wanted just a like, game. That just like blew the biggest wave of nostalgia. Yeah, do you too. remember? Right? Do you remember? Oh, of course I do. Of course I do. <laughs> the, when oh, you go onto Newgrounds and you see that like red letter A, I was like, yeah. it's my game, boys. Let's go. <laughs> It was so good. It was like, it was so shitty because you know, this was made by like one dude and yeah. living in like the middle of fucking like, you know, Winnipeg. Yeah. And yeah. it's like mom's basement being like, I'm going to make a really shitty like hentai flash game. But like as, as a kid at that time, that was like the only exposure you can get. Yeah. So you were just like, holy because shit. Because I was too afraid at that moment to like go onto Google images to mm-hmm. like look, because I didn't know how to search for that shit, right? <laughs> no. You didn't, okay, wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me you know how to find porn games, but you didn't know how to find porn? Yeah, because on Newgrounds, <laughs> it's, they have an entire section. I don't know if it's still to this day, but yeah, yeah. back then on Newgrounds, there was an entire adult section that clearly just said adult. Yeah. So you knew that if you clicked on that part of the website, yeah. every game or animation mm. that came up was going to be of that caliber. Exactly, what, and they why? were all hentai games. They were all hentai <laughs> games. Why not just watch porn? I don't know. Because, no, because, because you don't know how to look it up. Yeah, what because, because, you because know what porn is. No, 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 no. Pornhub didn't exist. You yeah. know, it, it, like, wait, when did Pornhub come around? I don't like when I was like this, this is 16, this, maybe? Like, this, like, shit, this okay. is showing my age now, but this was before the age of streaming. <laughs> okay. Like, okay, okay like an anime boomer. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Like, so, so what do you do if you need to find porn, but you can't stream Google it? Images. And I, when, when was like, when did Google get popularized? Because I remember back then I was probably using Yahoo. Or ask Jeeves. Yahoo, ask Jeeves. Ask Jeeves. <laughs> Jeeves, where is the porn? Where is, the where porn? is Brazzers, Jeeves? I'm wondering. No, Cause the reason I discovered uh, Sagara family was because you know, in those um, hentai visual, uh, like the no. Newgrounds visual novels, you, you don't get no, what I'm talking yeah, about. Know. You know what I'm, I'm talking about, Connor? This one out. I'm you know? <laughs> I, I know what you're talking about. No, they, they, would ha- they would always like, the porn part would always be these gifts. 
Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Of of and, and then I saw one of the comments and they were like they they were like, oh, they they sourced the gif. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And so that's how I that's what introduced that's, me to the world of error. That's game. how I found my first error game as well because yes, I, I played like <laughs> Frank's Adventure or whatever the fuck it was, and <laughs> there there was this section where it's like you walk into a cinema, but like the cinema is mosaiced, and you have yeah. to get like a special item from somewhere to like <laughs> unlock the mosaic. And when you finally did, it was this like gif of this like. Or this image, it wasn't even a GIF because it was yeah. from an Arrogate. It was just this this GIF or uh, this PNG of just this like really old like 90s Arrogate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. my 13 year old brain was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> what is that? Give me the yeah. source. I, I and need I would the go source. To the, yeah, and I scrolled to, the, scrolled to the comments and of course there was that one also horny on main 13 year old <laughs> who was like, hey, uh, at this part of the game, whoop. Where's she from? Where, 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 would, where does yeah, this image where, come yeah. from? What, and, of, what? and of course there was this cultured boy who was like, my mans, I got you. Probably from Reddit or 4chan at the time. I was like, I got you, bro. Yeah, yeah. I came, I came from the A board. That's where all the source yeah. is. And yeah, and and then I would finally look it up. Yeah. And of course, back then, you know, the fucking wild, wild west of the internet, you could get games like that very easily. No, it, it, you can get it easily. It just took like two millennia to download. Exactly. Because I remember, like, because I could only download it when my parents were out. Yeah. So I, I would well, be- What is this two gigabyte download, <laughs> Sam? <laughs> it was, yeah, it was like gigabytes and I'm like, Oh, this is back this then. is gonna take time. Yeah. So back then, like it, like I, I would have to like plan this shit out. This was like scheduled. <laughs> where okay, yeah, yeah, you had, you had about fuckers doing a special ops operation. <laughs> you, 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 game download you had heist. about forty <laughs> different dot raw files, <laughs> and you needed to download them one at a time. Oh my god! Because <laughs> you couldn't download one massive file. <laughs> you, you had to oh, download that like hits four. too close to home for me, <laughs> yeah, man. I know, right? And I hated it when you would go onto the website and it's like you can only download. Download, you you would download part one of seventy six <laughs> raw file and you finally get and you and you realize it's like two hundred meg it's like all right that won't take too long and you download it and you go to download part two and it's like you have to wait fifteen minutes for the next one <laughs> yeah, I'm just yeah. like God damn it so like so like when, when these are when, struggles I do not identify so like when when I actually download and sometimes like one one of the parts would be missing and it was just the most it was the most angering moment you can think of because you 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 you've downloaded forty files you just need one more file. You you, you, you go on WinRAR, you try to extract it. There's an error. What the fuck do you do? There's, there's, there's- Exactly, because unlike- No, 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 cause, cause I- I remember so many times I would just- You're so heated about uh, this. I remember so I many times- I just wanted that last piece. Because when, when, you've, when you've invested so much time downloading this wow. and there's just one file, there are so many hentai games I've never played because there's just one file missing and I couldn't find Because that's the problem. Link. It's like, unlike, you know, previously we talked about like how part three out of eight of this anime movie yeah, was yeah. missing. You could still watch the other seven parts, but <laughs> with- Error gaze with Winra, you were missing one part, you yeah. can't play any Damn, of it. This sounds like fucking Harry yeah. Potter hunting down the hall. Like, like I, <laughs> I, 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 mean, I just realized like, how close that story was to the YouTube story that we told a few yeah. weeks ago about watching anime in parts. But imagine imagine if you don't if imagine if you're missing one part, okay. you just you just don't watch you the can't entire watch series. the entire movie. <laughs> it just it's like you're missing sounds, part three, you can't open part one. Sounds like a message from God <laughs> to be a good yeah, Christian and that's boy. What, and that's why when all those parts did successfully download yeah. and did successfully yeah. extract and you booted it up. Yeah. The, the moment a window popped up and it yeah. wasn't like spyware, it yeah. was just like, yes, <sighs> now I can finally put in the time <laughs> that I'd spent so long trying to get. And I did put in the time, yeah. it, no matter how shitty the error game was. Cause I remember my first couple of area, I didn't know what a good error game was no, at the time. No. I just downloaded whatever the fuck I saw on Newgrounds It, it time. was a victory. The fact that you got it working yeah. and you are like, I'm gonna play this and I'm gonna fucking enjoy yeah. it. And it was amazing. I'm that gonna 100% complete this shit if it kills me. Damn, I was just playing RuneScape this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys go and you guys sound like you're going through a fucking mission just to get something work. Yeah, but it was so worth Just it. Just to see yeah, like yeah. what one third of a 2D tit is it? That's what yeah. it was, man. Because no, that that was that was like how hard it was to get porn back in the day. Man, like, go go RuneScape selling GF, <laughs> buying GF. <laughs> I actually, I actually have a funny story. Oh about shit! Okay. <laughs> no, no, because like. Because like, okay, this is this was like when I was a kid, right? And uh -huh. you know, with like when you first discover like the concept of like sex and porn, and yeah. like I didn't like we had dial-up internet back then. Yeah, same, same. Yeah. yeah, but like this this was this was going back when I was like nine, ten. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, before before I could really like have time to work on a computer and everything like that. So um, I like the only way I could get anything close to that was by watching like late night TV shows. Right. Mm. Okay. In in the UK. So, um, 
So what I tried to do as a kid was I would like I would record shows on my VHS. <laughs> I did that as well. Okay, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but there's but there was this one show because I looked at the TV guide. There was this oh, one show. I think you did what I did. There was this one show that was like, ooh, ooh, this sounds spicy. As a kid, I'm like, ooh, this this sounds exactly <laughs> what I'm looking for. It was a late night TV show, aired at like twelve. Is yeah. it? Is it? Can I say the title? Is it? Is it okay. Is it called Babe Station? No, no, no. That no, was no. the one. Babe no, no, no. Station. Was the one the UK. <laughs> okay, no, we're gonna, that, that, we're gonna talk about that way. I, I probably, I probably would <laughs> would have enjoyed Babe Station. No. Okay. okay. It, uh, Babe Station more. No, the show was called Sex in the City. <laughs> <laughs> So me being a nine year old kid thinking I'm about to get porn right now. <laughs> and then I, I set I set my VHS up. I, I I go to sleep, the VHS records, and I've never been more disappointed <laughs> as a kid. Like imagine it, as a kid, you think you're about to get full on sex for the first time. In you can, the city. And, the city. And, and the city, right? And you just get a bunch of girls talking about dick and shoes. <laughs> like I I was like, what what is this? This is False advertising. Do you know how much effort I had to put in to record this show, and this is what I get. I, I remember as well as like a, as like a twelve year old, thirteen year old, and just hearing that like my mom's friend's favorite show was Sex in the City. Yeah, I, was I, like, remember. I remember. I was Ooh. like, that's not very Ooh. Christian of you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Adults are scary. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, but no, hold on. We got to hear about what the fuck Babe Station is. So Babe Station was this <laughs> channel in the UK, right? And it would air at like, what, like 11.30? Yeah, yeah, something and like that. It was literally just like girls on a couch, like half naked, and then they would occasionally take off their bra. But the whole time you wouldn't hear anything. You would just hear like porn music, but oh, they were calling right. someone. You could call in and talk to them. Right. And there's some good videos on YouTube of people trolling them. Like that's really funny. But I don't, as like a, like a 14 year old, I was like, damn. Yeah. It, it's basically Damn. chatterbait before on chatterbait TV. On, on TV. But, but you can't hear what they're saying yeah. because they're talking to someone. Oh, yeah. right, Occasionally right. they would let you hear the audio. Like to tease yeah, you. Yeah. Like, this, is you <laughs> this is what you could be having. But obviously 12 year old me, I'm never gonna call them. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, oh my God. Yeah, cause I remember after Family Guy it would air. So I would like <laughs> take up a Family Guy episode, just to leave it running, you know? Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> just, just nonchalantly. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed actually that like, UK TV at night really like holds no bars. Oh, that was oh, like no. porn on so many channels. Because I, I, because uh, Aki and I only recently discovered, uh, thanks to Martia, <laughs> about uh, the show Naked Attraction. Mm, you know, wait, what's that? What's that? Show. Yeah, you showed that right yeah, to yeah. me. Yeah. yeah, Naked Attraction is basically this this, this? this I have show. Not. It's this show on UK television. I don't know what. Time it aired. I it's, assume it's it was on late. A, it's on Channel Four at about like nine p.m. Yeah, but basically okay. it's this Not it's even, this it's this game show where a, a guy or a girl would come onto the show looking for a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Right. And in the case with like say a a, a boy coming on looking for a girlfriend, yeah. What they would do is they would show five different girls, but they would be butt naked. <laughs> naked. <And then laughs> they completely would, naked. Seriously? Yeah, like no mosaic, completely naked. And what they would do is they would start from the down up. So what they would do is they would first show below the belt. Right. And then the and guy would see everything. You can see like, everything. Oh, oh, okay. And the girl and, and the guy or girl would be like, mm, okay, I like that genitalia. I don't like that genitalia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then and then at that point, just from looking at like the genitalia, they have to be like, uh, no to this person. <laughs> yeah. And then they would go up to the tits and it's then they wild. would show it's the wild. face and then they would reveal the voice. <laughs> and at the end, when there's the last two people remaining, like the last two contestants remaining, yeah. the guy or girl who like originally came onto the show, they have to also come out naked. Oh, and then <laughs> and then as they're naked, they have to pick one of the two, and then they go on a date. It's it's really awful. And it, and okay. I watched it, and Aki and I were like, "This is the most amazing show I've ever seen." Yeah, it's, it's called uh, Naked Attraction. I naked think. Naked Attraction. And, yeah, uh, it, and there's clips of it on YouTube. Yeah, this yeah. entire how, how are they getting away with it? This entire seasons of it on YouTube, and I don't understand how they're getting away with it. Like yeah. we get like I guarantee this episode is gonna get demonetized. <laughs> what are we talking about? And yet whole episodes of Naked Attraction can be on YouTube, and YouTube's like, well, I get it's a TV show, so I guess it's okay. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know. It's, I thought I was gonna hate it at first because just from the concept, it sounds absolutely trashy. But it makes yeah. you like the worst person ever. Oh you're yeah. Like, oh wow, their feet are slightly disformed. <laughs> I'm gonna have. It's to not even their feet. It's like, oh, their pussy's a little mangled. Up. Oh, oh god. god. Oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh. And you have to say that in front of the person. I'm like, I would never. Be able to I don't. Be I don't think show. I have the self confidence. No, to go on that show. I, I, but these are like jet, like just 
chill people, normal people, and they go on and, and they're just like, yeah, I just wanted to spice it up a little bit. I'm like, they're, they're spicing it up, love, and then they're getting naked in front of the entire country. I'm like, there's, a, I'm like, there's an in-between. I'm like, is it really worth it for the 15 minutes of fame if you have to show your naked body on yeah, yeah. And then they like, show you a little bit of the date afterwards and they're always it's so fucking awkward. awful It's dates. so awkward. It's like, hi. Oh, oh yeah, you like you like dates. So yeah, I, I, I hear you. Uh, you think you I have like a Bloons win- Tower defense? <laughs> I, mean, I like Bloons Tower defense. <laughs> okay, it's just like like how'd you go on a date after you've just commented on their like weirdly shaped penis? Yeah, or something exactly. Like that. My favorite though is like when they do finally pick a winner. Right. And it's that awkward hug. Oh, they do an awkward hug. They do an awkward hug to the like, person oh, who thank lost. Thank you, you chose me. Oh, but oh, it's oh, so yeah. funny how like how how back both of their like. <laughs> the yeah, the things like, are so that their genitalia touch, doesn't touch, touch yeah. as they hug each other. <laughs> <laughs> and the host is just watching it. It's like, <laughs> all right, fuck it's, off uh, now. She's a famous host in the UK. It's what's that woman? She does all the channel four shows. Uh, you, uh, she did Big Brother. Oh, Davina McCall. Yeah, Davina McCall. Yeah, yeah. Her. So, and she's a really big name in the UK. I so mean, she's a kinda, good host. It's kind of yeah, weird yeah. that she, you know, kind of got relegated to the C team. I didn't know. Like, I didn't know she did Big Brother, but now I know that. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Go, uh, yeah, going back to visual novels though, we, we oh got gosh. very off sidetracked. <laughs> what was like the first visual novel that you played then that you would consider <sighs> not going through your trashy, arrow gay teenager phase? Oh my God, this is hentai. I think the first one I played knowing exactly what it was and enjoying the fuck out of it was mm-hmm. Canon. Canon? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I think it, it was weird, right? I, I kind of discovered the canon visual novel after I watched Air. Right. And what, what is this stuff, by the way? Okay, so- I no idea. It's, it's, it's from the same guys it's from the who same made, people Clanad. made Clanad. I know that, yeah. yeah. So before Clanad, uh, Visual Arts made a number of games, one of them being Air, mm. which uh, <laughs> I watched the anime of and I first discovered what visual arts is. Yeah, and I was right. like, oh, I wanna see, oh, this is based off a game. I couldn't find, I remember, I couldn't find the Air visual novel anywhere, right. but I found Canon, which is the first game that they ever made. So I played Canon, and of course, if you know the story of Canon, I cried like a bitch, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But I was like, the first time in my life, I was like, wow, visual novels are really fucking long. <laughs> <laughs> because Canon not only has like seven different endings, yeah. but just to get to one ending, it takes about 30 hours. Almost like a book. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's like reading seven different books at once. That's how yeah. they get you, man. I, I meet people who play the same visual novel over and over again. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? I mean, I did that. <laughs> go outside. Gotta go, get all the roots. Go and do yeah. something productive. <laughs> dude, I play- Go I play, and play the eight hours of League of Legends. I, Be happy, dude. I <laughs> played the Clan of visual novel as well. And just to get to the true ending, it takes like 200 hours. Oh my God. But- You did that? Yeah. What's because I was what's so- in, Because I was so invested in the story. Because once you get- inv- That's the thing with the secret of visual novels. How novel old are you? When I play yeah. Clanad? Uh, 15. How the fuck do you have the patience for that as a 15 Because I because, because I used to read a lot of books anyway. Because oh you God. find time. You, 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 I as, think as, I, what as do a, you do as a 15 year old? As a 15 year old, like well, 200 hours means nothing. Halo yeah. just came out, I think for me. <laughs> like it's, it's- I didn't want to be like this normie scum who play yeah. Halo. What? I wanted to be a different boy. I wanted to <laughs> embrace my weeaboo Bro, there was nothing yeah. better than pissing your friends off at school by like destroying all their shit, like shooting their <laughs> I mean, horses I would, in Red Dead. Yeah, I mean, I would do that at school, but then I would come home and be like, you know what? I miss you, Nagi, sir. <laughs> I want to know what happens to you, baby you girl. Always th- okay, I, I had friends in my friend group who we would always play Xbox together, but there's always that one friend we were great friends with, yeah. never hear from when he goes home. <laughs> and you were that kid. I was that kid. Yeah, like, I was, was in like, my room just like continuously pressing yeah. space bar as I'm playing clan at <laughs> Oh my God. She because it's so me. good. Ch- check out this gameplay. Yeah. Click, Hi, click. Oh. Click, click. Uh, and then after, and then halfway through Clanad, I realized the auto function. So I didn't even have to click <laughs> anything. I was just, I was just sitting, but it was like watching a movie. I was yeah. like, oh hell yeah, dude, let's go. It's just like watching a, watching a movie with extra I, I, words. I don't think I'd be able to play a visual novel like that now though. No, which, no. Which is unfortunate. Because be- it, it's like watching anime nowadays, right? Right. You, you can't watch an anime that's over like 13 episodes without having to fully commit. Like, right. And it's, it's unfortunate because like, especially in the last couple of years, I know there's been some fucking amazing visual novels that have come out, mm. which I know if I put the time in, I would fucking love. Yeah. But yeah. it's just unfortunate now that a lot of these take like a hundred plus hours. And yeah. I know I would have no time. This out. sounds like hell to me. This sounds like- <laughs> Actually, hell. question to you then, Kong. Did you not play Doki Doki when that came out? No. You, you missed the Doki Doki crap. I just didn't. I saw it and I was like, cool. Girl kills herself. Everyone's happy about it. <laughs> Doki like, Doki though, I would recommend because it's only like, Five it's or six hours like the shorter long. one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like a good gateway one. Which is because when that blew up, I just had 
Undertale flashbacks on YouTube when that blew yeah. up. Oh, right? yeah. It was like, because it was that kind of audience that was mm. getting attracted to it. And I'm yeah. like, people are only attracted to this because this is the first time they're seeing anything remotely gory. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's it. I like, guarantee, yeah, exactly. Like, like, I'm sure there's way better visual novels than Doki Doki, right? Yeah. Like, oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. Right, right, yeah. exactly. But, but to them, it was like the first time that they were playing it's like a visual well. novel that yeah. was also like kind of mind trippy. And I'm like, you guys clearly yeah. haven't played Sayano Uta because that no, would no, fuck I'll, you up. I was about to say, I think like a good, I don't know, a good gateway and not good gateway visual novel is Sayana Uta. Yeah. Because that's a vision novel that just hits the ground running. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it has a really interesting concept, yeah. but it, it is fucked up. It is it fucked is. So, up. So this is a visual novel written by Gena Rabuchi, who is oh. the same guy who wrote Madoka Magica, Fate Zero, uh, Psycho Pass. Mm. And the concept is about this guy. I think he wakes up. And the I think he wakes. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't remember the exact beginning because the, the concept is it's there's just game. there's just this guy who who I th you know he all he sees is just this hellish landscape. Okay, like it's 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 like grotesque. Like there are like intestines. America. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna get killed for that. <laughs> there's just like intestines on the walls and just like veins popping out. It and is everything. very dinner over. Yeah, it, yeah, it's like this. It's like a scene from Silent Hills or something like that. Some, some of the most hellish scenes from Silent Hills. Um, and the only thing that's normal is this like one little lolly that's just like, she's the only normal thing in this uh -huh. hellish landscape. Cause ev like every other person <clears throat> is just like, uh, it's just this like also hellish blob that he can't understand. Mm -hmm. So the only thing he, he, the only person he can communicate with is this lolly. And then that to me just drew me in immediately. Mm -hmm. Right, because it was that like- sounds cool. Cause it was like, yeah, yeah, what's going on? Damn, why why, why is it this way? And like the, the way, that's that's what I look for in a vision novel because a lot of vision, a lot of the problems I see with a lot of vision novels, Doki Doki included, is that the beginnings are like very similar, where it's just like, ah, oh, here's a high school, here's a normal setting, here's here's all the characters, and you know, it it takes that time to get invested in the story. Right, once right. you do, it's fucking great. Yeah. But Sayana Uta, if you can handle a bit, if if you're not squeamish, then uh, and you know you can handle a bit more. Of, you know, your stomach's a bit stronger. If you then. can get past the gore, Sano does a fantastic visual novel. It's, like, it's great story, great, great characters. Yeah. Everything about it is awesome. Hey guys, this episode of the Trash Taste Podcast is proudly sponsored by CD Japan. CD Japan is the best place to order Japanese CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, and collectibles. They offer the widest variety of major and independent J-rock and J-pop music that you can find anywhere. Not only are they an e-commerce <clears> site, they also have a proxy shipping service that is easily their most popular offering. So basically to explain proxy shipping, Shipping, if there's certain items that you can only get if you're in Japan, like for example, we recently bought a lot of JoJo merch that you could that you could only get merch. in Japan. Do you want to explain what you've bought from Japan? Oh God, I mean, we have the uh, the, the watch that Joey's wear. Uh, Hell yeah. Let's yeah. say if you wanted those sweet JoJo suits that I posted on my Twitter, you couldn't get that unless you live in Japan. But if there was a proxy service, you'd be able to get a hold of those. Yeah, so all you need to do is give them the link to whatever product you want and they will buy it and ship it for you straight to wherever you live. And the good thing is in case you didn't get any of that, then on the website as well, they give you a step-by-step -step guide on how proxy services work. So you fully understand how to get the necessary equipment and much that yeah. you're looking for. So basically, if you see anything on our shelves that you can find <laughs> online that might not be avail available on that website, then you can use the proxy shipping service. We've also heard that their customer service is extraordinary and it's one of the aspects that they care most about of the service. And of course, with the recent events that have been going on in the world, they've also done a really good job to keep everything up to date for all of the customers, including all of their social media and of course, the aforementioned customer service. So you can be sure that you're in some pretty good hands. There's tons of different delivery methods on the website. So such as DHL, FedEx. So no matter what you order, you can guarantee that you will get it safely and in one piece. And no matter where you live as well, they will make sure your item gets to you. Let's see what Jojo stuff they got. I mean, just on the side. Oh, they have the Giorno pen. Oh yeah, they do. Look at that. Me and Connor have uh, this Yeah, pen. I have this one. I also yeah. have like three knockoffs. Oh wait, no, I have the Bucciarati pen. I have the Giorno one. Yeah, I have the yeah, Giorno Yeah, it's really cool. It works as a figurine and it works as a pen. You ne would never have one. You never use it. use it as a pen. It's an awkward pen to <laughs> what, use. What, yeah, you imagine buying this and being like, I'm gonna use this pen. But it is cool. <laughs> but it is cool. <laughs> if it, if it you is... want something like that, it's available on CD that's, Japan. That's cool. Oh, you can get the entirety of the manga in All Japanese. All of Stardust Stop Crusaders. Three. Wow. Yeah. Oh, 20, 20 bucks? bucks for the entirety of Stardust Crusaders? Bro, bro, yo, we gotta. <laughs> Well, this, go. this is why you need to learn Japanese. So you can, you can, buy, you can buy manga what in Japanese That's and actually, read it for that cheap. That's fucking crazy. You can get the first volume of Steel Ball Run for $6. $6. Oh my God, that's so cool. 
Let's see. Let's see what figures they have. Mm. Oh, Dead Alive. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, the Kurumi Tokusaki China dress version. Whoa! Ooh. Oh, that looks fucking nice though. Ooh. Look at that, dude. That's hot. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> that oh, that's hot. a lot of damage. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Look at that. Oh, yeah, the, the, the important part right there. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm. Hell yeah. What else they got? Is that Kaguya Sama? Uh, I saw that actually. Yeah. Wait, enhance. <laughs> enhance. 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 En Damn it, where Damn did it. we go? <laughs> we lost. We lost it. We lost her. Where did she go? So again, if you want to go and check out some Japan only stuff that you might not be able to get from your country, then cdjapan.com is the best place to get it. So again, thank you to CD Japan for sponsoring today's episode. Back to the video. Okay, I'm hearing all about these great visual novels and they yeah. sound crazy, <clears throat> but I don't know if I'm just a person who's never going to get into visual novels because of how I am. Like I is is Danganronpa a visual novel? Because I felt like no. it, I felt like it was. Yeah. Okay. Because <clears throat> that's that shit dragged on. Danganronpa is is kind of half visual novel, half mystery game, because it's visual novel in the aspect of when you're going through the story elements it's very, of Danganronpa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 100% visual novel, yeah. Yeah. like in the way it looks and the way it presents the story. But when it comes to the actual murder mysteries you have to solve, yeah. there's a bit of exploration that happens. And the whole part of when you go to the actual trial, yeah. that's mm -hmm. a whole game in and of itself. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I mean, I just, God, I remember being so frustrated playing that. I don't know why. Which, Maybe I, which one did you play though? First one. Okay, don't play the first one. <laughs> is, it, is it bad? <laughs> the second one is by far the best. I thought everyone said like the third one's the worst. The third one is the worst, but- First one's not great either. First one, I, I didn't, I wasn't a huge fan of the first, I played all three. First one was okay. Yeah. The second one though is by far the most optimized and best in terms of like gameplay, in terms okay. of story, in terms of characters, everything. Yeah, I remember. And then the third one, they just- They dropped the ball. Oh, dude, I was so disappointed. They, they <laughs> no. Bombed, they bombed that so fucking hard. It was the ending to the third one, which I was just like, uh, you made me sit through three whole games of this shit. And that's how you end up. it. Fuck you. Is, it, it, if, the, if you had to like pitch it to me to get me into visual novels, as I'm sure there are some viewers at home, mm -hmm. How would you do that? Because like, as somebody who's never experienced visual novel and doesn't really think that he'll like it. I mean, do you like books? Mm, it's been a while since I've read <laughs> Well, there's your first start. <laughs> like, there's our first problem. The problem is with books is that I never seek them out, but every time I've read a book, I've had a great time. Yeah. Okay, then that might just be the case with visual novels, right? Maybe, Maybe all yeah. you need is just that one a visual novel visual that you novel. can relate to. Yeah. And because you know, the, the, the pool of visual novels is so deep. What's like some beginner recommendations for visual novels that like everyone must? Honestly, Doki Doki. <laughs> really? Yeah, Doki Doki is a great like, it's 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 just a great starter one because it's so short. And yeah. if you can get through like the the worst part of Doki Doki, unfortunately, is like the first half where it's mm. just how it normally is. It's, though, yeah, right? it's just setting up the scene and everything. Um, but like the halfway point hits and it's like, oh, oh, this is this has got a lot of That's interesting in, in defense of Doki Doki though, the reason why the first half is so boring is because it's parodying visual novels. Yeah, yeah. So knowing that if, if you go into Doki Doki with that mindset, then the mm -hmm. first half is a little more bearable. But mm -hmm. the thing is, if you're not interested in the actual, the, the problem with visual novels is if you're not invested in the story, you're not gonna enjoy it, no matter yeah, how flashy or good it is, Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the unfortunate thing is that so many visual novels get passed under the rug because too many people are just too lazy to get into the story. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This guy. Yeah, this guy. I hate story in video games. Okay, then here's, <laughs> here, here's a question to you then. Uh, what are like some visual novel adaptations for anime that you've just really enjoyed? That's a good question. Fun. Have you watched a lot? Oh, I think I have. Maybe you have watched a lot and you just didn't I've know. Watched, I, I, you know, because I can't remember the top of my head which one. Okay, so some of them might be Steins Gate. I like Steins Gate a lot, but that felt like a visual novel when I okay. was watching that. You yeah. know what I mean? There's lots of moments where they weren't afraid to like be boring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, not be boring, but they weren't afraid to let you sit with mundane situations. It's a very it's slow Steinsgate. character development. Amazing yeah. anime though. Yeah. Like I yeah. fucking loved that. Uh, and and I, it's an amazing visual and, novel. Yeah, I, I, yeah, cause yeah. I remember I had, I had the game on 360. Mm. I just never played it. Right, right, right. I uh, don't know why I never played it. I think I bought, I watched the anime. I thought, whoa, I want to play this. I mm. bought it, never played it. Cause I was like, what a mother do. <laughs> yeah, um, and there's also like the Fate franchise. Love that. Love those. Fate, every Fate series I've watched, uh, ex ex I didn't watch the new ones because they were based on the I mean, game, there's a lot right? of Fate series. Heaven's yeah. Feel. <laughs> Heaven's Feel. I didn't watch Heaven's Feel. I watched, I love Fate Stay Night and Fate Zero are some of my favorite, uh, oh, Un Unlimited Blade Works. Yeah, some yeah. of my favorite. Well, anime. that's all just the Fate. No, game. I know it is, yeah, but, yeah. but then, you know, you want to get into Fate and you see the fucking chart <laughs> of like the fate law. And you're like, wait, there's how many sabers? 
I don't want this many sabers. This is too Type, It was just Type Moon being like, let's make this universe right. just and so, so difficult so, to get into. So you watch the anime and you think, this is a little confusing, but mm. it makes sense. I like this. Mm. And then you actually go yeah. and look what fate is. And you're like, this is a dumpster fire. I, know, I, I feel like the biggest enemy against pe getting people getting into fate is ironically the fate fandom itself. Oh no, I um, agree. Because, okay, here's the thing. I'm, I'm like, I like I have one of like one of the most popular fate videos, which is just me parodying how how to unlike a newcomer trying to understand the fate series. Yeah, yeah. And like to me, good video. As, as someone who like really likes fate, it's really not that hard to get into. You watch Unlimited Blade Works. You watch Fate Zero. It doesn't matter which one. You watch either one. They're both amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, they can be enjoyed by themselves, and then from there, you just yeah. you just you just yeah, take that, it from that's there. That's exactly what Nabi told me when yeah. I was trying to get into the fate series. Yeah. He was like, I was like, okay. I can trust your opinion because yeah. you've been with Fate from the very beginning until now. Yeah. What, how do I get into it? But and he was just like, watch Fate Zero, watch Fate Unlimited Blade Works, and you will understand 95% of the lore and yeah. the rest is just a bonus. Oh, really? Yeah. But, but, like, but like, the problem is, the like collect the fate fandom as a collective just can't seem to fucking agree on it mm. because there's like there's I, I I fucking lost lost it because there was this Reddit thread recently for, on like our anime and someone had made uh, I think the title of the thread was I made an easy to follow guide on how to get into fate <laughs> right and it, the I, ultimate clickbait <laughs> and it, it was it was uh, I, I fucking burst out laughing when I saw like. 800 upvotes, 700 comments. And I'm just like, oh, my oh God. boy, here, here that, we that, fucking that go ratio. again. That <laughs> ratio, oh my God. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna get the fucking popcorn. And I remember like one, one, of the, one, of the top, one of the top comments was just like, oh yeah, just watch Fate Zero. It doesn't really fucking matter. Fate Zero is good. And like the next comment is, but you're not gonna understand X if you watch Fate Zero. I'm just like, oh my God. Like how this, how, I, I can't imagine how it looks for a newcomer. Cause it looks yeah. like a clusterfuck, right? Yeah. It, it does. I mean, I watched Fate Zero first and I thought it was like a classic, right? I thought mm -hmm. it was a great show. I mean, you, I can rewatch Fate Zero and have yeah, a great yeah. time. Yeah. I, I don't know. I do you get do you get put off by shows if the fan base is toxic or shit like that? I mean that? it's because it, I don't. I'm just like, fuck you, I'm gonna watch the show, make my own opinion. Yeah, it's weird, right? Because I remember Fate the Fate fandom used to be a lot more toxic, right? Because it used to be more toxic? Oh no, definitely. There's there there was like there was this phase, right? Where if you recommended people to start Fate with Fate Zero <laughs> when that first came out, then then there will be people in the Fate fandom who are just like, how dare you? How dare you not just recommend the original visual novels? Yeah. Like it was like, if you're not willing to sit through, yeah. a, to, through a hundred hour visual novel, then why are you even enjoying oh this franchise? God. You know what I mean? And now, God. now it's evolved a bit. Now it's like, okay, people just want other people to get into Fate, mm. but you, now they just don't know how to agree on one specific way mm, to get into yeah, Fate. Right? And ways. it's the problem because it's a problem of Fate being a visual novel adaptation because there is there is no perfect adaptation of Fate Stay Night. Because if, if you think about it logically, like you, if you think about something like the Monogatari series, easy, you start, you start with release order. All right, right, so you start with Baki Monogatari because that came out first, you know? Yeah. But the problem with Fate is that chronologically, the first released adaptation of the Fate franchise is just shit, right? Because it was- it was The Studio Dean one, <coughs> The right? Fate Stay Night? Is yeah, the Fate Stay yeah. Night, uh, adapted by Studio Dean, right? Yeah. So that that basically adapted the, the first route of the Fate visual novel, the Fate Stay Night visual novel, right? But it's it's also like a really hard starting point for newbies to get into Fate because it's like, it's, 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 just, it's just shit. It's just you know? shit. <laughs> you, you can't recommend it in this day and age. So what you would have to recommend is probably Fate Unlimited, Zero. yeah, Unlimited Blade oh. Works, mm. which is the second route. But then, you know, but then people skip over the like entire first route, which is the Fate Stay Night route. Yeah. So it's 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 complicated because of the way the visual novel is laid out. I I, I genuinely thought Fate Stay Night and Fate Stay uh, Unlimited Blade Works was just a remake of Fate Stay Night. Yeah, you'd think so, right? Is it not? No, no, no. Okay, it's so completely different? Fate no, no, Stay okay. Night, I think from my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Fate Stay Night 
Unlimited Blade Works and Heaven's Feel are just different endings to Fate Stay Night. Yeah. Okay. So Dude, I feel like this is how like <laughs> NASA must feel and trying people, to fucking and program keep their rockets. people saying that the Monogatari series is complicated. Like, no, no. It's okay. So yeah, there there are like three routes in in the original Fate. Oh my god, I'm doing the fucking. What, yeah. what? I'm doing the meme now. This <laughs> is the short version. <laughs> okay, no, this what is happened the, to numbers? What this, happened to numbers? This, well, this, no, no, number shit anymore? It's, it's it's because of the ways way visual novels are laid out with different routes. Yeah. Right? So you you think of something like Clan Ad or something yeah. where like a different route, you get a different girl or like, you know, that's- that's Like a Pokemon, women are like Pokemon, <laughs> you just collect them. So in Fate, it's like every route is completely different, but it starts at the same starting point. Okay. If that makes sense. Yes. Um, so technically- Do I need a notepad? Like, do I need to like write this shit <laughs> down? It's weird, they all start at the same starting point, but that's not made apparent in the anime adaptations. No, no. I fucking hate which fate. is why you would <laughs> which is why you would think that unlimited blade works and fate stay night and fate zero and heaven's feel are completely different games yeah but in retrospect they all are the same dude sometimes i feel like i'm the only asshole who just doesn't give a fuck about half this <laughs> shit because like everyone seems to know and then i'm sitting there like i just want to just click play. Oh, trust me. It took me fucking forever to understand no. 1% I'm, I'm, of the I'm, I'm Fate mo franchise. Mo most people like me or like you guys. Because I, I, I don't know. I yeah. feel like I, I'm in the minority. I've, I've been here since the beginning. So you guys probably don't remember that there's been two Unlimited Blade Works adaptations. I did not know that. <laughs> wait, 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 both by UFO Table or? No, one like Studio Dean did Face Day Night. Yeah. Then I think they did uh, Unlimited Blade Works movie as well. Are you and serious? Then, yeah, yeah. And then UFO Table came along and was like, fuck that shit. We're yeah. starting over at Fate Zero. <laughs> And then, and then they were like, okay, fuck. Okay, we're done phase zero. Fuck phase day night. Let's just go to Unlimited Blade Works and <laughs> then adapt Heaven's Field. I only, cause I only remember that there was two phase day nights. Yeah. And then it, it was the it was the this Studio is, Dean face day night. This is too much. <laughs> and too then much. UFO Table was like, hold my beer, let's do yeah. a better adaptation. And then it was just all from there. But I didn't I didn't know about the second Unlimited Blade yeah. Works. And this is just the. I'm, I'm making Fate look so fucking bad now. It and, is. And we're, not, and we're not even mentioning all the fucking spin like, like, like this, Fate, Khalid, This is, this is, this like is just the main timeline canon as well. Just, yeah. just watch Fate Zero. And then if you like it, go on. Honestly, watch honestly, from Blade what I've works. heard, if you want to get into Fate, just watch Fate Zero and Unlimited Blade Fate works. Zero is a great fucking show and it's you can just watch it on its own. You don't need to have a college degree or a PhD <laughs> to understand what the fuck is going on. Just watch it. If you like all the characters, you know, it's yeah. fucking great. Hey, watch Monogatari, it's less complicated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so is Pokemon. Like, what are we recommending that? <laughs> Uh, Fate's, Fate's a lot of fun. I mean, you get into it for the good story and then you're like, man. I, I got into it because I was doing a fan dub of it. <laughs> oh, oh seriously? Really? I was in someone else's fan dub of it. Oh, okay. I think I was playing like- How the hell do you do an abridged of the Fate series? No, it wasn't a bridge, it was a hand up. I know, but like, oh, just a hypothetical question. Has anyone done an abridged of the Yeah, no, people have done an abridged of the Fate series. People have done an abridged of everything. <laughs> yeah. How do you abridge something that complicated? I mean, it's, you can just abridge a certain show, but yeah. like, like having to explain the entire franchise I mean, that's uh, <laughs> that's 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 an so, undertaking. Uh, I want I want a fate abridged where the entire bridge is just them explaining the fate law. Oh no, I'm, I'm actually doing a video on that. Spoilers. Oh really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at that. So, see, great minds think alike. Big Content. brain boys think alike. I, I've actually been working on that for like over a month. Oh really? <laughs> God. Of course you have. Like uh, it's that it's, was not a scripted bit. I'm just letting you know. John promoting his future content. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It's it's probably not going to be out by the time this 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 like this episode comes out. But uh, I I don't know. It's there's different because the fate the fate franchise is so wide, right? But it's like just this rabbit hole that you can just sink in, and there will always. be I feel like we found a trap talking about it here. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Fell into it. <laughs> But, but but that's the thing. Like, if if you just want to enjoy Fate Zero and Unlimited Blade Works, you can yeah. you can just those, that's what I did. Yeah, mm. yeah. What what did you think of them? Then? I loved them both individually. I felt very satisfied, and I felt that I'm okay not having more. I'm <laughs> like I was. I, I saw the the sh you know. It's like you finish it, mm -hmm. and then you walk outside and you see the rest of the world on fire, and you're like, no, I don't, <laughs> not today. Are you gonna watch Heaven's Feel then? Uh, I thought someone told me that that was just based on the Gacha game. No, that, that, uh, that's, <laughs> that, that's fake grand that's order. That's fake grand order. Yeah. Uh, oh, is that is that an anime series as well? Yeah, yeah. there's a fake grand order anime. Oh, see, this is what I mean. And then there's also to, to, clear- to, and there's, there's to, also make, to make it more confusing, the fake oh grand order anime adapts the, like, I think like the, like one of the later chapters in the fake grand order gacha game. So it doesn't even that's, start at the beginning. Uh, wh why? Why are they doing <laughs> this? You know, Ask it's, Type Moon, dude. Like I, I, I wanna, 
watch more because I enjoyed what I watched, but at the same time, it just seems like I'm going to be watching it thinking- That's the thing. It's like, I'm scared to start watching the Heavens Feel movies as much as I want to. Yeah, I, I Because fe- I'm just like, oh God, do I have to like fucking yeah, I'm revise gonna be, I'm gonna be paranoid. Fate Zero? And- I'm, I'm going to be watching and thinking like, fuck, did I have to do research before I yeah. watch this? Like, <laughs> fuck, I just wanted to like watch something, you know? Like I- No, it's 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 very daunting, but it's really not that complicated because- Says the guy. You say that. <laughs> you, 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 you say that. You literally went on a 10 minute rant about how yeah, much of a fucking that. mess this is. This, what do you mean it's not that complicated? Look. You can enjoy Heaven's Feel if you've like watched Fate Zero and UBW. That's 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 the end all. You can enjoy right? a lot of things if you torture yourself, Don. <laughs> like you, 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 you know he's a veteran when he calls Unlimited Blade Waste UBW. <laughs> it's like it's too long, UBW. You know what you're talking about. Like, you, know, you know what I mean, he, right? He comes up so much in his daily vocabulary yeah. that he has to shorten it's Unlimited like, Blade Waste yeah, to UBW. UBW. <laughs> Fellow Fate fans, I tried, okay? I I, 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 I tried my fucking hardest. Okay? I, I, if I find I'm the not time. falling for your trap today, God, not today. I, I'm, I'm happy not having fun. I will sink that time into a visual novel before I try and get into the like, Fate Look, like, Okay, do people just like not watch shows and then just think, okay, I'm done. I've had enough of this show, you know? That's how I felt with Fate. Well, yeah, but yeah. I mean, some people just uh, get so invested in the characters that they just want to go further beyond, like, right? Who liked Sabres so much that we had this many Sabres? Why, wasn't one? Saber, okay. Am I am I mistaken with being happy? With I don't know, one? man. I, I, you, sh- you should ask his people. Okay, yeah. okay. I, I, I like. What's I, wrong with one saber? That's what I, I, I get. <laughs> why, why is, okay, why okay, is okay. one saber not enough? Okay, okay. Here, here's the thing, right? I didn't get it until I started playing Fate Grand Order, oh, and, I, and then and then I totally get it because saber. I, like, I don't care too much about saber, but yeah. Rin, you know. Rin's my girl. Who's so oh oh I know from Fate Night. Yeah, 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 from, yeah, from from Fate Night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so whenever like there's a, a how, rin- how many Rins are there? I mean, there's there's <laughs> there's not the as- fact that there's not a clear answer to this question is fucked up. <laughs> there's there's not as many Rins as there are Sabers. Yeah. What, but what for, do you mean? There shouldn't be more than one. For exa- <laughs> but for example, like getting Ishtar, for example, I'm like I I, I need to get every time there's a character that kind of resembles Rin, I'm like. Well, time I'm, to think. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I saw Ishtar, I was like, oh, is that Rin? You know, I, I hear this shit and all I think of like, man, this sounds like it's near, nearing Kingdom Hearts level of bullshit. Oh no, I, I, oh, to- no, Kingdom, I totally Kingdom think- Kingdom Hearts wishes it could be that I totally Cause this is, we're just talking about the series. We haven't gotten into fate lore We're itself. not getting into that. <laughs> yeah, this podcast will be- I don't like, want to all the spin-offs podcast. like Apocrypha <laughs> and like uh, Khalid and stuff yeah, like you know, that. Yeah, you know, being around anime fans here, you just hear, these words like apoc- apocrypha or whatever. I hear that yeah. shit so much. I don't know what it means. I don't know. I don't want to know what it means. I don't know what it means either, but I, I know it. it's just a spin off. I hear it so much, right? All I know is that apocrypha and, and Khalid Ilya are spin offs, but they're spin offs that also add to the law. It's time uh, to stop. I mean, okay, it's- so. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no really. No, we're not, not getting into this. <laughs> Okay, so to start off my no, lecture no. today on on, you know on we fate law, J, J things that I didn't get before. Let's go yeah. back to that. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> no, I feel you have two minutes gone. <laughs> Say your piece. Okay, just watch Phase Zero, watch watch Unlimited Blade Works, and then that's that's like the mainline timeline. So you can enjoy Heaven's Feel, and then if you want to enjoy more of the Fate franchise, you can because none of it's technically canon, even though it is. But I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> just watch. The, we just just watch the main timeline shows, and that's that's me. That's that's it. That's it. I'm you, gonna, say, uh, you say watch the main timeline shows, but at this point, we don't know what the main timeline <laughs> shows are. I'm convinced people who are like Fate also like cock and ball torture. Dude. Like they want to die. Bro. The one thing about Fate that I want to say is that I couldn't fucking believe when I, I asked the same question to Nabi, my friend, who's yeah. like heavily into Fate, about Saber. I was like, why are there so many Sabers? And you know what he said to me? What? He's like, Saber the class or Saber the character? <laughs> And I mean, what? I went. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, I mean, Saber. And he's like, Yeah, which one? I'm like, What do you mean? What do you mean, which one? That's, he's like, Because there's Saber the class, yeah, and then there's the character, the character Saber. Saber. I know that. I know Artoria. that. I know that. Because yeah. like, there's she is the Saber class in yeah. the anime. They say that yeah. like the rider, right? Like the assassin. Yeah, 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 yeah Saber yeah. class. But then he, yeah, but then he was like Saber class, Saber character. I'm like. What? S- Saber, <laughs> the one called Saber. What, which one is it? <laughs> and at that point I was like, okay, I don't think I'll ever be able to get into this series <laughs> or this franchise. So bottom line, uh, when it comes to visual novels, maybe maybe skip out on fate I'm, unless I'm, you're like very committed. I'm convinced, right? If if fate didn't exist, the world would be 100% more productive. <laughs> we would have cured every known disease 
on, on the planet. <laughs> these people are too busy making fucking timeline charts. Yeah, Type Moon would actually be like a cancer institute, right? Yeah, on, <laughs> honestly, if we redirected that that mental resource into doing something productive, we, we would have there would be no poverty. Poverty would be ended. <laughs> But instead we wanted a hundred sabers. That's what we went for. It's because oh we just want to collect the waifus, okay? We just we just want a, a slightly different variation of the same character. So <laughs> so they could they could like sell us to like roll another like 10 hundred rolls on the gacha. And then we can be like, yeah, I have another saber. I have everything I want. Oh wait, they released another saber. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I see, I see This you. is just like that. You know, like there's memes where it's like the fucking the, the business meeting with the executives and they're like, what do the people want? They really like, it seems like gentlemen, they really enjoy Sabre. And someone's like, Sabre 2, Sabre 2. And it's like <laughs> three Sabres. Sabre 2, but it's not the Sabre. <laughs> if if Sabre's so good, why isn't there a Sabre 2? And the, the, the executives are like, we got your back. <laughs> super Sabre, we super, want a Super Sabre. Sabre Black, <laughs> like, Sabre Pink. There's, there's, there's actually like a Red Sabre. Oh no, I'm done. Oh there's, yeah, Red Sabre and then the Sabre Red. No, no, there's a Red Sabre and Sabre of Red. Sabre of Red, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> those, are, those are two different characters. <laughs> At this point, Type Moon has to be <laughs> fucking with us, right? Like, I, I, on, I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for them. I'm ready for Type Moon to just come out and just like pull an Anu Hideaki, just being like, yeah, all of that has no meaning. I'm we going, just wanted to fuck with you. I'm going insane listening to Gaunt <laughs> try and explain this shit to me. I, I want to have an episode where I, I just, hate this I just so like much. spend an hour explaining fate lore to you guys <laughs> and just see how so you react much. to it. <laughs> It's, it's, oh but going God. back to visual novels, right? Oh that, that, that we would recommend to beginners, oh AKA not it's fucking like one, It's like one pain to another. <laughs> pain to another. <laughs> okay, other than, other than Doki Doki Literature Club, what's like another visual novel that you would recommend to Connor? Undertale. <laughs> I'm kidding. God, Undertale. I don't know because there are none, psych. Okay, question. Would you recommend Kadawa Shoujo? <sighs> because Kadawa Shoujo also has like act one is, it, it takes it takes reading through Act One to get really mm. invested into Kadawa Shoujo. Kadawa Shoujo is great, by the way. Yeah. Um, but is it like a ten million sabers in that as well? <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, there uh, isn't. There isn't seventy Kadawas, unfortunately. <laughs> Kadawa Shoujo actually has a very very interesting backstory. Okay. Um, because tell me on it. No, because I, I mean, the, I, I feel like the backstory is almost as interesting as the visual novel itself. I don't want to sp- say too much because I'm also oh, working on a visual, this, yeah. visual uh, on a video on it. But it's 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 a visual novel that basically originated from 4chan. And can you believe something good actually came out of 4chan? No, 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 for no, no, no. So so <laughs> so it's like a dating simulator with crippled girls from 4chan. And you say that, and you're like. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. SJWs be quaking. Yeah. (laughs) But like, it's it's one of the most like wholesome kind of inspirational stories about how these disabled girls like really just are just normal people and just like, like how they deal with their disabilities. That sounds good. Yeah, it's It's it's, great. I'd read that. It's fantastic. It's it's actually a really, really good visual novel Mm. and if like, how much patience do you have though? Cause I, 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 I've seen you gaming, right? If you're not doing something <laughs> within the first five seconds, if you're not like headshotting the <laughs> headshotting the fucking no scope in the first yeah, yeah. 10 seconds. I, can. I have, I have a, I have an amount that I can, I can like power up in myself. But like, is it enough to go through the first chapter of Cuddle of Shoujo? Why is it that bad? It's a, it's a bit it's, of it's, a, it's not bad. It's but not, it's, it's a bit of a read. How long though? is the first chapter? Oh, that's a good question. I, I can't, I can't, there, I can't honestly, remember. I can't depends like an, how fast. An hour? Depends how fast you read. An hour or more? Yeah, I'd, I'd say like an hour. Or that's two. a lot a- of time. Hour or two, maybe. Yeah. Holy shit! But that, that was, that's the same with Doki Doki because like it takes an hour or two to yeah. get through the first half. But but mind you, unlike Doki Doki, which is about a six to seven hour game, Cuddle Shoujo is about thirty to forty hours. That's fine. So man. compared to that, an hour is not too bad <clears throat> until it starts. Honestly, you know, I, I do up. think Sayuna Uta would be really, really good for someone mm. some, someone like you, because okay. I know you can handle that shit. And that was something that hooked me instantly. Maybe I'll stream it. Am I allowed to stream like, it? Is it a game I can stream? No, it's banned on Twitch. No. Oh jeez, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> it, was, it, it was the first visual novel that was banned on Twitch yeah. because of course, yeah. Gen Urobuchi be out here just being like, I'm not making anything that's family friendly. <laughs> I'm here to traumatize everybody that plays my shit. No, because it, it's it's a story. It's it's a vision novel that doesn't have that, you know, entry period. It just yeah. it just it has a very interesting concept, and it just kind of hooks you right away. And mm. for me, I remember just reading Sino Uta, and I read it all in like one sitting because I just wanted to know immediately what happens next. Mm. Like I, there was there was no break for me starting it to finishing mm. it. Um, in terms of like 
visual novel type games. I, I don't know, like, okay, here's the thing. Do you, would you count the Persona series as like a visual novel with a lot of gameplay in it? Oh, that seems like an RPG to me. It, okay, the thing with the Persona series is that it's really interesting because yes, it is a JRPG, but a whole lot of the JRPG element and like how you play the JRPG element mm. of that game is dependent on the visual novel side of the game. Yeah. yeah. Because what 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 the Persona series did, which I think is fucking genius, is that they made you, the way that they made you sit through the story of Persona, and it's a long story if you've yeah. played any Persona game, right? Yeah. The, the genius way that they made you sit through it is that by sitting through it and physically interacting with certain characters in certain ways, it changes how strong you become in the JRPG element. Yeah. So what you do is you form, at least in Persona 5, what you do is you, you by talking to certain characters and befriending them and like going out to do these like normal everyday things, yeah. you would level up your different abilities. And those abilities then get directly reflected in the JRPG element. So the more yeah. you're involved in the story, the easier time you will have in the JRPG elements. And what that forces you to do is that not only is it interesting because it's like, you're playing two different games at once, yeah. but you are literally forced to sit through the story. Yeah. yeah. So, so everybody so, that plays it enjoys the story. So like, if you imagine like a gacha game, right? So yeah. in every gacha game, there's like the gameplay element and then there's the gacha element. Well, right? I played uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Right. And right. that okay. had a lot of story yeah. building, which yeah. I found so okay. boring. Oh, you found that boring? Yeah, I found it really boring. But I would just skip whenever they start talking. I'm like, beep, 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 beep. But the thing is, Fire Emblem. But the but thing is, Fire Emblem Three Houses kind of did the same thing, where you doing everyday no, right, things around right. the campus would yeah. affect you I, in battle. I mean, I liked Fire Emblem Three Houses, right? I enjoyed what mm. I did, but mm. I, I for whatever reason, man, the moment I see text pop up on my screen, I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm like, you are in the way of my game. You are, <laughs> you are so monkey bro. Dude. Yeah, I was gonna say you got that fucking monkey no, dude, brain. I, <laughs> I don't know what happened to me in the womb, but like I, I can't pay attention to story in games. Like I, I, and I'm sure there's one or two people out there who can can sympathize with me. But the moment story comes on in any video game, I'm like, where's the skip button? Where is it? Really? I can't. I can't pay attention. What's what's your favorite story in a video game then? <laughs> <laughs> Trick question. <laughs> Have, has there ever been one? Bro, that I need to like really go deep in my memory. I remember the only game that I think I watched the cutscenes, and I think I was like 15. I don't even know why I played this game. It's called Blue Dragon. It was a JRPG. Never Weird game. It's probably like two people in the comments who are like, I know what that is. <laughs> it's like an, it's a JRPG. Comment below if you've played Blue Dragon. <laughs> it was a, it was just seemed like a, a Dragon Quest knockoff, but mm. I didn't know what Dragon Quest was at the time, but I watched right. Dragon Quest afterwards and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> This looks awfully <laughs> like that game I used to like. <laughs> and you know, it pains me every time when I, when I go to press that skip button. Yeah. But like, I, I don't know what it is. Like, I, is there something wrong with me that I can't enjoy story in video games? I mean, I'm sure I, there's a bunch I, of people I love who aren't my, into it, right? Maybe, but like for me, it's like, I look for a gameplay loop, not a, not a I'm, story. I'm like, I'm like the complete opposite well, of well, you. Well, no, because yeah. you, you play, You've played League of Legends. You played it a fair amount. You play yeah, but like, playing inter, Valorant right now. In, with in, me. Ter in terms of like single player games, yeah. like I I need a story. I don't like, play single player games. Well, there's your I problem. mean, I mean, you played, for example, Cuphead or something. Cuphead, like that. yeah, I used to speedrun Cuphead. That was yeah. fun, but that was for the gameplay loop. That wasn't for yeah, I don't yeah, think ex exactly. Like like I tried playing <laughs> Cuphead. I'm like, what? Why am I playing Cuphead? There's the, what what is the narrative reason for me to complete this game? Like, I just I, love running I, gun games. I, like, I, I I need a narrative reason. And if you need me to sit through like a two hour cutscene, I'll fucking do it. Oh my if, God. It's, if it's no, if it's if it's a good that. if it's a good story, I'll I'll fucking do it. Like. like the reason I loved Doom 2016 so much is you literally start that game, you smash a skull open and you start shooting. <laughs> and like, that was like, oh my God. Doom 2016 is the epitome of like, like they made monkey the game. brain. They made a game. Monkeys. They made a game for me. <laughs> it was like gun, <laughs> enemy, shoot, <laughs> let's go. Like, that was like exactly what I wanted. I just wanted a game that was like, fuck the story. Let's just make a like gameplay that is addictive, right? Yeah. And so when I play like, you know the, the, what pisses me off to death about JRPGs? I love JRPGs, but Do you the though? moment the moment they start making the menu a fucking challenge is when I start, I'm like, this is too much. Like I love Fire Emblem Three Houses, right? But there was times in that the menuing was like half the gameplay. Uh, and I'm I, like, I, 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 I don't know, I, I'm the opposite, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. When, when there's a complex menu, I was like, oh man, look at, all love the, the menus. Look, look at all the different things I can yeah. do. And again, oh. I'm like, let me play the damn game. You are playing the game no, yeah, on no. the main menu. Yeah. But like, okay, you know, like, 
I, I, I go from, I jump from multiplayer as a game into multiplayer games. Like I've been like Diamond and League of Legends like five years in a row. Yeah. Yeah. I started playing TFT recently, got to Diamond 1 and that, nearly mastered TF. You know, if you play these games, you know it's good shit. I'm big brain essentially. <laughs> <laughs> playing Valorant now with Gaunt sometimes. Yeah. Valorant's a good game to CSGO. I played Overwatch, got to master in that. Like I, I I mean, okay, what's like your opinion on like something like the Metal Gear Solid series then? Did you ever play Metal I love Gear those Solid? Games. Yeah, I played Metal Gear Solid. I like Well, that. because that's like he very heavily story. Yeah, that's like a he as well. that's like that's not vision novel, that's just cutscene after cutscene. Attention to those. <laughs> <laughs> like Halo, right? Halo. I love Halo. I have no idea what any of the stories are about. The moment I remember, like the Halo story is great. Yeah, I remember there was a scene Did where you play Cord Mass Effect. No, 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 no. Oh. That was, like too much story for me. Oh. I remember, I remember Halo, right? I remember they they like hyped it up. The sad ending, like I mean, if you don't know that Cortana, you know, yeah. I, what, but she comes back, <laughs> sort of. So does Cortana dies, right? <laughs> I remember everyone was hyping up too close. So sad, so sad. And I was playing with my friend, and we were doing it together. Yeah. And the moment the cutscene happened, I fucking skipped it. You went, <laughs> you went, no, no, what are you doing? I, 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 we need to find out what happens. I'm like, why? We got to shoot things. <laughs> Like, oh, this this is hurting me so much. This I, know. Is like, I don't know, man. I just, I'm sure there's one else. Am I in the minority here? Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it's 50 50, right? Maybe, or like 70. Maybe. I don't maybe. Know. I don't know. I, I don't know, because cause there's, uh, there must be a reason why the most popular games are like multiplayer games, right? Yeah, because I mean, they're played by 11 year olds, you know? that Monkey brain. <laughs> a monkey brain is I fun. mean, the, the reason I got into games like League and Valorant is just because I could just get into it. It's like, it was like a stress. It's relief, a 40 right? minute thing that you do yeah. and it's no more. It's, it's just it's just like a, it's it's like a different kind of stress relief than like Animal Crossing, for example. Mm. But you just you just get in a quick session, you get out, you play as long as you want. And it's a closed loop. You don't but, feel but like, like there's anything else. But yeah. like for, for single pay, player experiences, I would, which I, I, I like to get invested in a game in the same way that I like to get invested in an anime. Yeah. Mm. And like, I, I love just, I love that feeling of just marathoning a show and yeah. just getting- Just super... putting yourself into a story and yeah. being able to like physically interact with the story is yeah. like, it's so fucking cool. I, yeah. I think I ruined games for myself um, <laughs> during the Xbox. So game. is there literally not a single game that you enjoyed I, the story of? I cannot. Like I, I enjoyed Zelda Breath of the Wild a fuck ton, but I don't know like what I was doing. Did you? <laughs> I just remember, because no, when I, the Breath moment- Breath of the Wild is such a good story the, too. Does it? The yeah. moment we started talking to NPCs, I'm like, give me the bomb, give me the items. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I need to blow shit up. Because dude, Breath of the Wild was the last game I played where I got like, no matter what other game was out there that I wanted to play, it, it yeah. like, like you said, it, it sucked me in. I yeah. loved that game, yeah. but that was because I felt like the way they built the world didn't require a story. Cause the story was the same shit we used to. It was no. Ganon right. bad, go and defeat but, Ganon. But, but, I, but in my opinion, the, the most genius thing about Breath of the Wild is that yes, you could skip all of the dialogue yeah. and still really fucking enjoy it purely that, for the game. That's why I loved it. Cause but it was like, it was like, do your own thing. Man. It's even more enjoyable when you actually talk to the NPCs and especially the ones that are kind of just out in the open, not mm -hmm. the ones that are in the towns mm -hmm. and just hearing what they say, it does such a good job in world building. <laughs> It, uh, I'm serious, <laughs> you're laughing, you're laughing, but the NPCs, like I, li I listen to all the NPCs and I'm like, okay, I have so much of a better understanding of this world jo now. Joey's like, I'm on the visual novel playthrough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing this and I'm like, wait, you spoke to the NPC? Yeah. Oh, wait, when, like, okay. The thing I hate the most, right, is when games, make you speak to NPCs. I hate that so much. It depends on like the game for me, because if it's a world I'm not invested in, yeah. then I'm like, whatever, this is this is, yeah. this is is shitty. But if it's like a world I'm super invested in, I speak, to, I'm that kind of person who just speaks to everyone. Cause yeah. I want to get as much content as I can out of this game. Yeah, exactly. And I remember speaking to you and you're like, I can't enjoy a game if, I, if I'm not making someone else's day be worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is kind of, okay, okay. I, I said that to you as a joke, but that's kind of true. Right? Like, okay. <laughs> Like, there's just something that like to me, and I, maybe this is again, co coming back to the episode where we spoke about chess, right? Like yeah. to me, gaming has always been a thing of like, it's like a thing where I can, I can learn a skill, I can get better at that skill, and then I can beat others, Yeah. right? And like, you know, sometimes you play a game of League of Legends and it feels like you're playing the piano. Like it feels like you're just crushing them. 
But then when you when you get when you lose, <laughs> it's not a good feeling. It's all. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I want to bl- play a game and I want to beat other people half the time. He wants to make someone else's day worse. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's that's how he like, gets enjoyment. Like, exactly. Uh, like as well, like if I play League of Legends, I can't play normal games. Like I cannot. <laughs> Like I need to play a ranked game because I know that people will, will give a shit. Because if people aren't giving a shit, no one's invested, right? If I if I fucking die a ton, no one gives a shit in a normal I mean they do, but I don't give a shit. Yeah. But if I die in a ranked game, I'm like, fuck. I think that's why I'd never got into PvP games. Really? It's because I've never given a shit. Really? Yeah, yeah. that's probably why. Like, I, yeah, like yeah. I can't like I don't give a but, fuck but if I'm do playing. You, do you not like refining a skill, like getting good at something and like That's not yeah, what I yeah. play games for. I mean, that's what I do. I man. play games for to, for fucking escapism. Right, but then I guess my form of escapism is learning the skill and having that gameplay loop of doing it over and over again and then going against other people. No, I don't have that because I don't give it, because like, in my opinion, the reason why I love JRPGs is because there are no bragging rights with JRPGs. Yeah, By finishing well, a JRPG, it's not, it's not like, yeah, I beat this game. Like, that's it, why I beat Persona 5 like five times. It's, it's not because I wanted to brag to people that I beat it five times, but because I wanted to see the route <laughs> of all the waifus. But you just <laughs> bragged about, I'm joking. Yeah, I just oh, did okay. it, but. No, it's not It's not for bragging rights. I don't do it for that. And I don't do it to feel superior or anything. I just do it because to me, I guess gaming for me, the way that it's been a an escape is that I get to sink myself because I'm, I'm I need to be challenged constantly yeah and when a game doesn't challenge me in like either mechanical skill or yeah. like mentally like I'm just not invested because I'm like it's not challenging me uh, I need uh, something I, to challenge I mean this is why I like play instruments right so that I could get that side of my brain focused yeah on right yeah, yeah, yeah but then I guess we're all different right like for me I think maybe escapism and you do have that part of you want to challenge yourself but mm. is it's satisfied by just learning an instrument or yeah. playing an instrument but for me it's like I think it's way too consuming for me. Like yeah. I'm way too competitive. <laughs> like I was that one asshole in school who turned everything into the Olympics. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh- There was always that one guy. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. we're doing a light jog? Oh, <laughs> oh, we're doing a light jog, are we? And then I would fucking sprint, right? Yeah. I remember like, I could, if this doesn't explain how like competitive I am, I don't know what will. In school, when we used to do long distance running, I was terrible at long distance running. Okay. But you bet, every single time we did it, I made myself throw up. I was so desperate. To win. <laughs> I was so desperate to win the long distance running that I would literally, every single time we ran, I would push myself into the point of throwing up. Cause I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't stop. Right. He don't miss. Yeah, like, <laughs> and I remember it literally became a joke at some point that every like, cause every year you would do a school thing. Where yeah, you yeah, would, yeah, yeah. And I remember I would do the 400 meters and I would not stop sprinting <laughs> the whole time. And I would literally get to the, I would sprint the whole 400 meters to win. I would stop and I would just go. Because <laughs> like, I was pushing myself way beyond what was needed. Yeah. Right? Cause I, in my head, it was embarrassing to lose. I mean, I, I get people like and, that. Okay. But... And before anyone thinks, wow, man, Connor, your parents must've raised you in a way that made you think, but nah, dude, my parents were like, yo, Connor, calm the fuck down. <laughs> like my parents were like, where did this come from? Cause we're not like- Okay, that's <laughs> interesting you say that though, because then now, I'm wondering why you're so heavily into Arknights. Because yeah, Arknights is a PvE game, not a PvP well, game. But but it's still got, I, I, I think I know, because it's still got like challenges in it. And Arknights is the f- worst fucking like combo for you. Because it's a game that you can't win unless yeah. you spend more money. Yeah. And then even if you spend more money, you still can't yeah. win. And, well, and and there's a whole bit of enjoyment by following the story. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't follow the story. Yeah. So I mean, you know, I've, you know, I've, level 95 in Arknights, but now yeah. that I've beaten all of episode six and done all the challenge modes, I kind of woke up the other day and I'm like, I don't know, what have I got to do? <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. Like, I've done everything. I've done it. Like, I've completed, I'm in the end game. I've completed the Arknights. <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's the thing, right? And then I think I also destroyed any chance I had of liking story games. Cause when achievements were a thing on Xbox 360, yeah. mm. you bet I was that asshole who was like, I'm gonna want- Get all you, the You were the achievement hunter. Yeah, yeah 100% a game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I, I got way too into some games. And I remember I got so frustrated with JRPGs cause I would just buy any game, but there was due to research, which games were easiest to get mm. achievements on. I didn't do mm-hmm. that. I just bought a game and I would complete it. But fuck JRPGs, man. They had the worst achievements. They were like, collect every one of this item. And then you 
would go to the guide and it'd be like, oh, well, seven of these items you can only get at that time. And if you didn't get it at that time, sorry, kid, you got to restart the game. And I'm like, I hate you. Who did this? I hate you so, so much. <laughs> I, I think that was a saving grace for me that I never owned like an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation. Yeah. Like I never, I never played on a console that had achievements. I yeah, was always yeah. just a Nintendo kid. So it was literally just you versus the game. Yeah. I, I wish I did that because I remember I got an Xbox one and one day I was like, why am I? What am I getting these achievements? <laughs> like, what am I? What am I? What are we? That, I thought I realized. Like, 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 he had the feeling. Like, I, I, there's, there's like, an achievement to be gotten here. I, I can, I, I can perfect this skill to get <laughs> all of the achievements. Oh, dude. Oh, I look, okay. Now nah, it's on. It's challenging I, me. This is a challenge. And and then I look back at all the shit I did. Like, I beat the lost video game. The fucking <laughs> lost video game. And I remember that, that even my- I didn't even know that was a lost video Even game. my 15 year old self could tell this video game was not a video <laughs> game. Like this was garbage, dude. And and I beat it just to get that 1000 achievement. I hated that game. Yeah, actually question to you then. Do you kind of like gamify life sometimes? Like do you- Okay, do you, you know what's weird? Okay, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, do you want to explain what you're going to go with the rest of the fire? No, because like basically, you know, sometimes I do see our job, YouTube, as it's it's kind of like a game, right? Because mm, yeah. they fucking gamified this. You get achievements, you get numbers, you got your rivals, you know, you, you do a good video, it, it gives you a pat on the back, yeah, it gives yeah. you like a like a green tick mark to be like, you did well. Yeah. You did well. It's it's weird, right? Because um I and I saw I read about this and it's called a maximizer and a and a satisfier, right? Some people will take the first option that satisfies them and yeah. they're okay with that. Mm, and then yeah. there are other people who maximize the shit out of everything. Right? Yeah. And I don't know what happened, but somewhere around the age of 18 to 20, I swapped from being a maximizer and literally everything in my life yeah. to just being satisfied. Yeah. And like, I remember when I was buying a vacuum for the first time, holy shit, dude. I like spreadsheets on spreadsheets. <laughs> I was like, yo, but the suction power of this one is 50 watts extra and shit, this is bristles, extra firm ones there. But the reviews of this one, oh my, you know what I mean? Like yeah, I yeah, would yeah, get yeah. stressed out about everything. Yeah, and that, yeah, happened, yeah. that happened with YouTube and stuff. But somewhere along the line, I just stopped giving a shit about everything. Mm. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like now, you know, even when I, I remember I used to book hotels, I used to like, I would, I would God, I would search every hotel in like a 10 mile radius. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would have a spreadsheet and I just got to the point where I realized, I don't think this matters. I don't think I need to do this. Yeah. And now I just take the first thing that makes me remotely happy. And, yeah. uh, I mean, it's, it's just kind of like decision fatigue, right? Yeah, like yeah, you, yeah, yeah, I did. Like I there's only so many decisions that you can make in a day. And yeah. there, there are some points when I'm exactly the same, especially when I'm like booking a holiday or finding yeah. like, e even just like choosing what you want to eat today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd say the only thing I still do it in my life is for video games. Like yeah. I still do that for video games, but everything else, uh, even YouTube, I just do what I do and I'm satisfied with that. Like I, mm. I check the analytics, I, I you know, like, Roughly, but I don't go deep into them. Like I just yeah. see, okay. You're not like, oh my God, I'm, I'm down 1% from yeah, yesterday. Like if, yeah. if, I, if I gain less subscribers than the previous day, I don't care. I'm like, oh, I'm still gaining subscribers. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, I, I actually found like a huge problem for me recently is that I've, I've, I've found it really hard just to get into new anime and games just because like there's so much choice. And I don't know, I have this thing where I'm so scared of wasting my time. See, mm. that's something you need to let go. Like yeah. I had that, I had that. Yeah, and I just, yeah. I just yeah. stopped giving a shit. Cause like recently, okay. So I've, the, the most recent anime I finished was one that aired last season. It was called uh, Sing Yesterday for Me. And mm. like the first the first beginning of that was fucking great. I was like, I'm, I'm good. This is gonna be a show. This is like anime of the season kind of territory. And then I watched it and the first half was great. And then the second half was just kind of like, nothing's really happening. And then it ended. And then it just, it just kind of just ended very fast. It was obviously mm. like a very rushed ending. It was like the most, Seven out of ten overall. Yeah. Anime. You, you know I, what I, mean? I remember your tweet where you were like, "Guys, watch Sing Yesterday for me, <laughs> anime of the season. <laughs> Take it from me, the anime zone." I mean, the, like, yes, you have that story, and and like, like I just I remember I, I finished it and I knew this was an anime I'm going to forget in like a month, and but, I'm but like, that's mm. okay. Is it? it though? I think it's okay because the way I see things, right, is like no matter what happens. If I get something I can talk about, that's a win. Like it's, you, you it's brought about, it up. It's right? all about the experience. Yeah. You right had something. You you had something. It was the friends we Shut made up. along the way. <laughs> we are Nakama. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, we're all Nakama, baby. Like, if I have something that I can take away like that, that's painfully mediocre, that's something I can talk about. I can't be mad yeah. at that. But imagine if I didn't have a podcast where I could just talk talk well, about it. You can talk about it to your friends, right? You, you could have said well, okay, this. If it right? had been good, would you have been happy? 
Yes. No, you wouldn't have. You'd have, you'd have been you'd have been like satisfied with the choice you made. You wouldn't have been happy. But no, I would like because well, what do you, mean? you would have. Oh no. <laughs> he just so watched it, a good anime. Because he wanted it to be an amazing anime. And if it, it lived up to his expectations, he'd be like, good. He wouldn't be like, oh my god, yes. No, I mean like <laughs> I mean, I, I know this guy. He no, would. no, I would be happy. <laughs> fuck off. You fuck would. you. I, I would be no. happy. Fuck I'm me. happy watching good <laughs> anime. No, no, Just don't no. show me like, okay, like, okay. The one thing that's even worse than being a bad anime is just being a meh anime. Like, yeah. like, mm. like, I remember like when I finished Domestic Girlfriend, like the manga. Okay, so I finished it like a few weeks we'll go ago. Go back to this again. <laughs> we're, go, we're going back to domestic. He always girlfriend. finds a way to bring it back. <laughs> up. He always finds a fucking it's way. It's like that ex-girlfriend that he just can't let go. <laughs> you know, I, I can't let it go. But like, it, it was an awful ending. Like, it was it was absolutely like one of one of the worst endings to like a harem this is manga. The, this is the worst trade deal. <laughs> like, okay, you're really okay. selling us on this. By okay, no, 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 no. Like, okay, just just. Just, just imagine it, right? Okay. okay. This is, this is, this is what it was like. Okay. Imagine. Okay. It's, it's the World Cup final. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. In terms of like which girl is gonna win. Oh, okay. right, right. Yeah. So it's the World Cup final. You're in the 90th minute. It's in stoppage time. Mm. You're like 10-1 up. Okay. Yeah. And then for no, like the other team is like completely incapacitated. And then for no reason, you decide to play golden goal and then score an own goal. That was the ending of domestic girlfriends. Well, that's that's fun. Let's talk about that. No, no, no. But, but that's but, but but that but that's the thing, right? Is that because it was so bad, I had a great time like experiencing just just the dumpster fire and like the yeah. nuclear fallout that it caused. Yeah, that's fun, right? Yeah, like I had more fun with. Do- I'm gonna remember domestic girlfriend for way way fucking right, longer right, right. than sing yesterday for me because what I'm so scared of is just. I'm gonna watch a show and I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna f- and, and I'm gonna forget the show within a month. But that happens mm. a lot. Uh, it does, it you does. Know, like I, as somebody who watches so many fucking documentaries, like I watch a lot of documentaries. It's probably I, the only thing I really watch on Netflix. Mm. Right. Kind of come to accept that real life doesn't have good endings. <laughs> Unfortunately, like life just doesn't have- It just have, kind of ends. It just doesn't, doesn't have good endings, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> and you know, and the, if, you know, if you make documentaries about people who are still alive, sometimes they keep doing shit after the documentary yeah, comes out. Yeah. And then it's like, it's not a complete documentary, <laughs> right? But I don't know. I just kind of get ex- like, like satisfied with what I get if it's a good journey, right? Yeah. And mm. if it's a met ending, that's something I could talk about. That's the way I see it. Like, and if it's a shitty documentary, great. I have something to talk about. If it's a good documentary, cool. I can talk about it. Like, I've just come to accept that life just doesn't have good endings. <laughs> <laughs> it rarely lives up to the first Put act. Put that on a t-shirt. You know, yeah. It doesn't, you know, like, come on, Tiger King. First pop was way better than the last pop. I mean, come on. Like, yeah, of course, like, of course. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I don't know. I just come to accept that it was good when it was good and I'm not going to get too fussed about it. Yeah, I mean, it's it, that's the whole thing, right? It's just it's just this idea of like you know nothing in life is yeah. pointless. Like you'll always yeah. find a way to utilize that in some way, and no matter how fucking mediocre a show is, you're gonna you're gonna use it somewhere, yeah. even if you're not even aware of it, right? Like, yeah. I just, realize how fucking weird I am right now because I just don't like story in video games, but I'm happy with mediocre stories in other media. I, sorry, I just, then you'll love a lot of visual. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. It's hard. It's this. This is like a, a debate that I'm trying to come to terms with myself. Is like, yeah. is it okay to watch something mediocre? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, but is it okay to play something for the story? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, never, never. Everyone's like, did you play Last of Us? No, because it's all story. <laughs> but you get to shoot things in it. No, there's no, there's no skill involved. You know. <laughs> there's not there's nothing I can master. Like I loved Halo and I love playing the uh like legendary roots alone where like it's fucking impossible. The shit drives me up the wall. I you sound that. like every twelve year old I didn't talk to in school. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. I think we wouldn't get on in school. No. <laughs> if we went to the same school, I would be like, fuck that guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Plays Halo legendary man, what a wanker. Oh, yeah, I love that shit, man. It's a good game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, but so yeah, is there is there anything else you guys want to talk about for this podcast? Bottom line, I don't think Connor is ever going to get into visual novels, and that, and that's no, that's like, just how it is. Just, the, I, the more I talk to him, the more I'm like, yeah, visual novels. You know, it's, may- it's the natto of anime. In my <laughs> like, it's like you. It's a refined taste. It's right? like you really it's not even a refined no, taste. No, it's like I feel like you're either genetically uh, uh, supposed. What's the word? Like you're gonna. You're more likely to like it. What's the word? There's a word for. I don't fucking Built. know. Supposed or something. It's something along those lines. Yeah. It's not that word. Yeah. I feel we're, like- We're a bit drunk, right? <laughs> I feel like you're either gonna like visual novels or you're not, and you, and you know. But if someone explains a visual novel to you, you're gonna be like, I don't think we're gonna like that. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just- I don't know, but like, I've never met someone who just doesn't like story, period. Yeah, that's that's a like, like, okay, like, like, if you don't like story in games, period, then I'm like- I like story, not in video games. <laughs> Get out of my video games. <laughs> Bro Force, amazing game. Metal Slug, amazing game. No stories in those games. That's what we need. Doom? Wait, are you telling me you never looked up the lore of Metal Slug? <laughs> no. I, I have played too many hours of Metal Slug. Love that game to death. I have no idea if there's a story. <laughs> is there a story in Metal Slug? Apparently there is. Is there? Fuck off. No, there isn't. Yeah, there's apparently Doom, a story. Doom 20, uh, d the new Doom, I fucking loved, but I was like, wait, wait, there's cutscenes? <laughs> no, 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 no. But you not like care about something like world building, for example? Yeah, but you can do that through gameplay. Yeah, and, but like, like, yeah, but it's not as effective. Yeah, in my is. opinion. No, there's like, no, there's no. so many, okay, there's Bro, so many games okay. that okay. try to okay. do okay. world well, building through Doom, gameplay. Right, you play the new Dooms, you know exactly what the world is about, just from- But aren't, aren't you like actually interested in the world? No. <laughs> no. And there's your short answer, are, really. Are you interested in okay, how, actually, how the fair, world got you know, that way? I say that, right? But every time I hear a piece of like League of Legends, I'm like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. And I, I actually, I'd watch a League of Legends anime. Yeah. But I don't want to watch League of Legends cutscenes in game. Imagine you had to watch cutscenes in League of Legends. You'd be like- <laughs> Connor no, has no, like no. two modes in his brain. Yeah. And there's like no in between. There's it's, like- It's just like shut off brain, um, like absorb it's anime. It, yeah, the more- it, it's, it's, It the, could be shit. You just like <laughs> absorb it. Or it's like monkey brain mode, engage. <laughs> I am the greatest primate it, in this group. It's, <laughs> it's like on or off, right? Like I can sit there and watch like, any anime or whatever you need me to watch, I could sit there and watch it all day and be like, yeah. okay, I know what I'm getting into. But when it's games, get that shit out of here. Get that shit off of me. Jesus Christ. I, I literally like, I love watching Tyler Wan, like live streams. Yeah. I feel like he embodies. He's, he's the definition of monkey brain streamer. <laughs> I love Tyler Wan as a streamer because he literally embodies like, not only physically, how like I imagine my gamer side to be, but like I, watching him play The Last of Us was so funny because yeah. he was just like, what is this story? Get this shit away from me. And I was like, I love it. I love it. It's so fun. And he's just such a like giga chad brain gamer. It's so fun to watch him. I, he's my favorite streamer just cause like, I, I, I relate to it. Oh my God. Oh God. I guess though, you guys can let us know in the comments below if there is any visual novel that you think Connor's monkey brain I've, can handle. I've, I've lost all hope that yeah. Connor can get into we, we, we can't We can't convince him. So maybe you guys yeah. can help us. Yeah, okay. You know what? Before we finish this, you know, <laughs> you know people were like, yeah, I've, I've beat Fire Emblem. I was like, oh yeah, me too. Yeah. And they were like, oh, did you play all the roots? I'm like, why would I play all the roots? <laughs> no, I remember talking to you about this. I'm like, that, that hurts me to listen I'm to. I'm like, yeah. why would I play all the roots? Wait, well, you play Blue Lines, right? I play Blue yeah. Lines, which I, I, you know, after I heard about all the other roots, I'm yeah. like, so I played the right one. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, there's no right one. Yeah. That's just no, one of no, three. No. Yeah. Mine sounded like the most. So Actually, we're, we're going back into fate no. now. <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing this. We were yeah. close to ending the episode. All I'm saying is that to me, the point of playing the same gameplay again for a different ending is, is it doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> it's like, I, the thought of that is insane. It's. <sighs> I, I don't think oh. that we'll never be able to understand this monkey no, brain. No, no, no. I, 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 I need to science, do science. Like, please dissect my I, I brain. I need to do like I, a full-on study to be like, okay, story. You you, you like story? <laughs> <laughs> and Connor's like, yes, yes, I like story. I like story. I like Ga story. gameplay. You like no, gameplay? No, no. <laughs> you like gameplay? Yes, I like gameplay. Story and gameplay? No, <laughs> no, story and gameplay bad. I I do not like. It. Basically, basically, yeah, basically, that's pretty accurate. Jesus Christ! I think that's why I love arcades because like. They don't try and give you story. <laughs> it's great. They don't try and bog me down with this shit. Apparently the nostalgia, the piano game has a lore. I, I can't read Japanese, so I wouldn't know anyway. <laughs> you know what game is amazing with fantastic gameplay and no story? What? Chess. No story <laughs> in chess. That's why I like chess so much, I think. It started from a young age, my displeasure. It's, it's, it's actually funny because the thing I like about chess is the story oh and lore God. behind the history of chess. <laughs> <laughs> there are two people in the world, two different people in the world right now. But saying that, right? If you made a documentary about chess players, I'd fucking love the shit out of that. Because I don't have to, it's not like, it's not like- Because it's not interjected with gameplay. Yeah. yeah, because it's not like 10 minutes in, move the pawn, four, <laughs> two. It's like, okay, it's not like, cause some of these visual novels have gameplay and I've seen some yeah. of the shit 
And it's like, you click one dial dialogue like thing. And it's like, yeah. why give me the choice to click one dialogue? Yeah, except one that dialogue one prompt? piece of gameplay is the most stressful piece of gameplay ever. Yeah, because it's like, stupid. oh my God, which one do I choose? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Basically, right? Chess the documentary, I would watch. Chess the game, I play. Chess the visual novel slash documentary game. No, get that out of here. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to. You know. are like the epitome of someone who can't multitask. <laughs> I, I, actually, I actually can't multitask whatsoever. I it that. shows. Yeah, I, 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 maybe I watch anime in the gym. That's about it, as far as it goes. wow. <laughs> about as far as it Giga goes. brain. Yeah, Giga what, brain. A, what a what an evolved brain you have. Me anyway. crying on the treadmill. Did you say? I Ryan. think I think that's a good place to end this podcast. Before like we're gonna need a whole like study on how Connor's brain works. Before yeah. Why is my brain so smooth? You know, you know, people are gonna meme the fuck out of this on the <laughs> subreddit. That's, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Please give us your meme, your best yeah. like Connor is monkey brain. Memes Check on out the our subreddits and our Twitter, if you like. Also, thank you very much to all our Patreons. Hell yeah. That They're are on the screen, on right, screen right, now. right now. Those guys, if you like they to don't listen to story. <laughs> <laughs> they just if want the gameplay. If you like to support us on the show and also fund the research to try and figure out Connor's monkey brain, then <laughs> the Patreon is gonna help us a lot. <laughs> so make sure if you enjoy the show to go on to patreon.com <laughs> slash trash taste. Great game. No game, but no story. <laughs> I kind of want. To, I kind of want to get Tyler one on this podcast now. Oh in the future, just, oh. just like you and Tyler one. We can just agree. Like, we can have, just, <laughs> 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 Holy shit! Tyler one, Tyler one, please come on the podcast and talk about anime and monkey stuff with us. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and also, thank you to our sponsor for this episode as well. But yeah, I, I think that's a good place to end it. So, with that said, I've been Gigak, and joining me today has been Monkey Brain. Um, that's gonna be oh shit! That's gonna be no. We, we got we got t- we got Tyler Two here. Tyler, Tyler Two. two. <laughs> <laughs> and we got uh, we got the Anime Man Joey, hey. and I've been Gigak, and I guess we'll see you all next time. Bye bye, Johnny. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Get this shit off of me! <laughs>